Okay, I'll go play him. All right. Uh, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Kaiser on the microphone. Hope you're all well today. Uh, we're going to be kicking off our uh, EVAC melee tournament tonight. Glad to have you all here. We've got like a seven person bracket tonight, which is great. Uh, I mean that with uh, full sincerity. It's great to have a seven person tournament in, in today's tough times. So I really appreciate everyone who's showed up. And I really appreciate everyone who's in chat right now. I hope we're all feeling all right. Getting into the silly season of the year. I hope you're spending it uh, with, with loved ones. Um, so up first on the stream, though, we're going to have Wheel D versus uh, Caleb. And then we're going to have uh, me and Fenno play off stream, it seems. So I'm going to put their information in now. And we're going to have a slobber knocker on our hands. Here they come. Here come the boys. What? All right. All right. Yeah, if you want to play everyone else and then tell me when that's done, and then I'll play Fenno. Okay. Sweet. All right. So here they are. The boys are on stream. I actually might just quickly adjust that camera. Alright, they're getting some warm-ups in real quick. We wish them well. Um, trying to figure out uh, what the best audio volume is like, actually. So... Recently, I would give this one to Caleb, obviously. However, it's actually been a while since I've seen Will D play. We all know and love Will D from his glorious win over w Rishi at Phantom 2020 this year. It was a star-studded performance, if I'm being honest. How's the audio, everyone in chat? Does the game need to go up or does the microphone need to go up or down? Let us know and we will sort it out. Caleb coming in with a quick chair swap. This is really important. The, the chairs at EVAC are, are less than optimal, that's for sure. And we're going to get started really soon, everyone. It's finally happening. Elbows. That's my, that's my dogs. All right, here we go, guys. First game of the tourney. Caleb already off to a monster start. Quick 66, and it's almost cleaned up the stock, actually. Oh, my God. That was it. That's all he needed. It's been so long since I've seen a clean Caleb stock like that. But he's looking so strong. He's fresh off the setup with all these Peach players here. Oh, just two quick stocks. He hasn't even been hit yet. Why is Caleb playing on fire right now? Okay. Will D manages to land his first hit of the set, 35 seconds in. But Caleb just too smooth on his movement on this ground game right now. Will D has just not found a spot to do anything. He's not pulled a single turnip. This is a rough matchup for Peach, for sure, but... Will D also needs to make these moments count. And 44% like that isn't enough uh, to really compete with the two stocks that Caleb has taken. Oh my god, just the spacing. <laughs> All 
All right. Well, Caleb couldn't win them all, and he, he lets the stock go like that. Oh, he's going deep. Going to get punished, though. Will D chases him across the stage and only gets one hit of the down smash somehow. He's trying to make up this deficit with the down smash, but it's not working out for him. He's just not getting any clean punishes off. If he can get Caleb off stage and clean him up with an edge guard, he has the opportunity to bring this set back, but this is really do or die for him. Finally an opportunity for Wilty to start something, but it was too little too late in that set. And Caleb's just going to reverse the situation and take it 1-0. Very strong start by Caleb, actually. Uh, press Z. There you go, guys. Um, Dreamland, obvious pick for your boy Wilty, because I imagine Fountain of Dreams will be banned if you're Caleb. That's just my prediction. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I really need you to know what just happened on, on the commentary booth right now. I had put a bunch of Monster Ultra Zero into a Powerade bottle before leaving home, and I just opened it in my mouth now, and it was like it shot a thousand tiny razor blades into my mouth of air. Um, but safe to say, I'm feeling much more energized. Damn. I like the way that Caleb is actually playing the neutral. He's really making, like, a spot for himself with his aerials. Um, he's really good against, um, oh, bruh moment. Uh, really good against Will D, who's not the one to, like, you know, play the ground game much. Uh, or, like, do just relentlessly CC down smash. Seems to me like Will D wants to get some dash dance grabs and some, uh, flake dance affairs in. Uh, which is probably why Caleb is doing so well. And that's not the way you DI that, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Will D will watch this back and, uh, realize a few things went, that went wrong. Hopefully, next time these two come up against each other, it'll be a bit more of a, a closer set than what have we got. Yeah, I sure can. So... I want to see Will D at least get like another stock because he hasn't gotten more. He hasn't gotten Caleb down to less than three yet. Just so far, Will D's uh, not like tight on his actions, and he's whiffing a lot of um, pretty punishable attacks. Like as Peach, I don't think you actually want to whiff grab too much. You really want to condition the shield from the other person so that you can either mix up with. Jab grab or jab down smash because if uh, if they jump for the jab grab, then they get hit by the down smash and get a big big punny. Um, but if they you know stay in the shield, you can also just shield poke with the down smash. Um, but the the threat of the grab is what is what cooks people in that situation. Great float cancel fair there actually. Not going to be the stock. Will D flubs an edge guard. He's getting need. One more knee. That might be the set. Makes it back though. Caleb with all the control steal and he's gonna hold out. And that's all she wrote. A big game for Caleb. Uh, and 2-0 for him. Good job. All right, I'm gonna hop off and play my match.
Alright, so McLeod's been working on a new main. He's a Daisy main now. But knowing how often he switches characters, this might not last till the end of next week, but you know. If he wins this tournament, probably stick with it. Caleb showing a reasonable amount of dominance in the beach matchup before, so we'll see if he can carry that over to this game one on FD, that's interesting. Would not have thought. And McLeod, for whatever reason, started knitting. And, oh, it's just warm up. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Why they would warm up on FD, though, I will never know. rationale behind going to FD against features. I guess the idea being McLeod kills you regardless, so might as well go to FD. Yeah. versus Falcon Edgeguard where Peach doesn't want to go off stage but at the same time Falcon doesn't have anything to grab the ledge for free so she kind of just gets to bullying him off there. Kind of fortunate because otherwise this matchup would be hell in a lot of spots. If Falcon could just upbeat the ledge like Mark or something. Good gentleman knee. Easy clean up of the stop. Ooh. Uh, that's not a spot you want to be in, but somehow else sneaks under. I don't know if that's McLeod fucking up or what, but he cleans it up, takes the stop. It's the beautiful thing about Falcon is even though he's out, he's never really out and you could still just hit him sometimes. I'm shocked that grab didn't hit, my god. Facing from the cloud. It's good old drive by knee, you gotta do it sometimes. The cloud goes for the wildy, forgets that Caleb just had about five minutes of down smashing the ledge, so he's not gonna fall for that. Oh no, the eye, he lives it. Can't believe that. Interesting Falcon kick from the corner. It would work, but like, to what end? Surprised McLeod didn't go for more reverse back as there. Might well, you get the dash back into some stuff. So he got him off stage, and really that's probably what better than risking another 50 50. He's back there, yeah. Caleb waits, he's played enough Peach. He knows. But has he fought the ledge enough? Part of the boss in this game. Oh, that's a big knee all of a sudden. He's you know, two hits away from evening this game up after all that. That was a good power shield, doesn't get a grab for it though. Oh, that's okay. He's gonna get killed! Oh, Caleb doesn't turn around knee him. Interesting. And that might cost him the game, yeah. Can't be making mistakes like that on FD and click to win. Oh! I'm glad forgetting that Nair is the best of them always. He just likes forward airing people, I think. 
Not gonna do it? No, Peach is heavy. Yeah, good edge guard from Caleb, honestly. Okay, it's been weird. His edge guards have been pretty solid, but it's the like conversions in like that where he only gets one hit and you're just like, ah, oh, you probably need more than that. Yeah, that's gonna be game one. Far too good on FD, despite the no chain grab. So I guess that's the rationale is if I'm not gonna get grabbed, might as well go to FD. Yeah. Caleb's kind of all over him at the start of this game. Uh, he needed to be way faster on that. Okay, we got this. This gets up air. Pros, he didn't go for up air there. That's such a good spot to go for up air. Just kind of stops Peach from trying anything. The knee gets a kill, but like. Put Peach in a very precarious spot off stage with that. Where you get like a 50-50 to grab ledge when she goes down or not. Another way. And, yeah. Oh, that, that's rough for Caleb. Let's see if he's playing out the stock or if my card's just going to start racking on the damage. Yeah. Big forward air. Caleb gets out of there, for now. Up there, doesn't kill, yeah. Price he's neither. I'd imagine the mindset is up air will kill, but if there's anything up air hasn't been doing this set, it's killing. Right, finally cleans it up with the back air. Didn't take too much for that, but you know. 40 is good damage. This matchup's a bitch. It looks like Caleb can just get up from the ledge. He's trying to get way too fancy with it. Like, the Cloud's giving him the respect. Probably because he knows he's more likely to, you know, cause damage to Falcon when he's invincible than Caleb is. Like, what's the point of threatening the edge if you're the one killing yourself? But Caleb should probably realize that the Cloud's backing off a fair bit. He can just do a hack, one hack stash, and then go from there instead of doing like three and messing up the third one. Uh, yeah, up there. He really needed that, and yeah. The cloud does not give you freebies like that. Well, that was a really good turn of fight. And somehow he sneaks out of that gentleman. Good STI up, I guess. Just being in the situation enough times that he gets the hell out of there. Ah, uh, yeah. And right, now he's got the turnip game going, but it doesn't work out for him. I guess he got him in a back dash or something, because he's not holding a good direction there. Alright, yeah. That was probably one he needed to do the hack stash, so... Oh. Gets out of there. Big knee, yeah. Ah. Uh, that's unfortunate. Alright. Quite up to low. Not expected, but still. Yeah, back to stadium. Particularly with it being frozen, there's no reason not to. <laughs> oh, the deck I walk. It's been a while since I've seen a page do that. Yes. Oh, big. Is he going to finish it? No. I feel like one of Caleb's problems with edge guards is he tries pretty hard to focus on a spot and not let them pass, but like sooner or later he has to give up on it and they get back. He's not, like, he doesn't throw himself out there the way someone like none would. He doesn't just go for a 50-50 knowing 
so they're gonna hit or miss. He's just playing conservative. And it's like there's a spot for that, but Rage Guards where Peach is off stage at 60. Ain't it? Uh, yeah. Sucking cannot recover to save his life and gets snared for it. Okay, yeah. Important that Caleb played that up because McLeod is definitely one knockdown away from running away with this game. Shocked he got that nair through. Oh, alright, Caleb did not grab the ledge. I don't know. Alright, he rolls away. Uh, that was a really good nair. Realized that the down smashes were coming. Placed around it correctly. Big SDI though. On the knee. Oh, there you go. You don't have to go far off stage against Peach. You just have to go far enough that, you know, the up air is going to connect regardless of what she does. Uh, so B does not grab the edge. This is not PM. Or ultimate. Not any of the games that Nintendo does not want you streaming. But in this one. Uh, good back air though. I guess covering the space paid off eventually, but... If I could just grab that out of the air, you forget he's got a mask grab somewhere in his little T-Rex arms. So he does that sort of thing. Alright, yeah, off stage. Runs the high turn up, but throws it way too high to do anything. McLeod's very all or nothing. Oh, jeez. Um, very all or nothing with his knee DI. He's either SDIing it up and in, or he's just holding down and praying that he gets the ups attack or something. Alright, yeah. This, that's a little bit better from Caleb, Edgar wise. Like, he was at least threatening to, like, jump out there and immediately end the stock with an up arrow or something. Whereas before he was just kind of, like, Sitting around going, oh, you know, you can land on stage. And the cloud, a little bit frustrated there, you can tell. He's not like fighting the man that back there is in place. You know. Sometimes that shit's real hard to get around. You gotta do what you gotta do to win. Like, no one complains when the Fox main does that four times in a row. Actually, that's not true at all, but you know. Alright, big back air. I had to get something for off that, and he gets hit for it, so. He's looking a little rough for Caleb. Well, that's a big stomp, though, and he gets knocked. Ooh, is that gonna do it? Not quite. Good reverse up there, though. Oh, that's... yeah. Okay, gets back. Oh, and that's gonna do it. No contest. Uh, should have Catherine... Kai next, I think?
Hello. Time for Catherine and Kaiser. This should be pretty interesting, actually. Oh, baby. Oh, no. What? Why are these the two stages that is left? How did this happen? I don't know. Ah! Wait, what? I'm... I'm uh, I think this is... Uh, uh, this they're both afraid. I'm... Ugh. I don't know they're, how... They're playing some weird game of chicken with... That was the way... And they went straight into... Oh, my God. That was... I don't think I've ever seen Falco Peach strike... I think the Peach stroke Dreamland. And then the Falco stroke... Bod and Yoshi's? And oh, I don't know. I didn't even know what just happened. No, I think Catherine must have struck Yoshi's. We're gonna rip. Um, okay. Falco got rid of Bod and FD. Yeah, okay, sure. Which kind of makes sense. No, 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 okay, why not, why would she get rid of Dreamland no, 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 first? That's, that no, makes okay. no sense. Yeah, that, that's what confused me. I like, wait. Like you get rid of Yoshi's and just go. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you want? <coughs> Which one of these stages you don't really like? Let's go yeah, it's so, it's sort of, yeah. Dreamland or some shit. Okay, that's not as big you get to pick your lot. Dreamland or this. Like, and it worked out eventually. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. They, they got to a somewhat normal stage. Catherine keeping it pretty even. Kai's actually, yeah, I don't know. I played Kai a few times recently. He's gotten a lot better. Okay. So we'll see if Catherine. Catherine's well. always struggled with Falco as well. Yeah. Which is like. But she's she's played some netplay. Played the netplay Falco. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that helps. Has a little bit of a netplay Falco. Used to be a he lot has, of a netplay Yeah, Falco. he's got a few netplay Falco habits, but. Kai's like, used to. Oh, I, he's, he's, he's a lot better now, but he used to be to me. I'm just like, this is just like competent netplay Falco. If like netplay Falco grinded for three years, and like. Yeah. This is what it would look like. That really shows you how many years of, like, tech there's been in the last few years where. It really has. You know. Kai's been playing for what, six years or something? Uh, Kai's movement always looks nice, his combos always look nice. And his neutral starting to look nice, so I'm excited. But Kai's actually keeping up. No, this is impressive. Two jets, very slow jabs, and then a grab. I mean, cool. I mean, Kai holds shield a lot, actually. He actually he's actually does a pretty good job of um, holding down, holding shield in this matchup. Better than most Targos. Uh, I don't know what Catherine's got right. neutral is them, but... And Kai does out. have years and years of practice playing this matchup, right? He does. Wait, well, I, hear, I don't think he's... He, like, he was never that good at it. No, but... <laughs> the relative to other Falcos that really yeah. aren't good at it. That's true. That's true. Very true. I mean, yeah. he, hits, he hits relatively hard. He's edge I was like, I don't, I don't know good. if you were watching Will Diva Saucy last year. I well, sure was. I was I was entranced with that set. That was Just, a beautiful set. Yeah. It's like, you could definitely be worse against Peach. Thanks, Ty, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah I don't know. He, he, he is, like, some really, really good stuff now. Yeah. All right. Well, his combo game against Peach has never been, like, terrible. I feel like it's, his problem's always been closing out stocks and, like, yeah. finding neutral... I don't know, his problem is getting dash attacks when he goes to the dash back laser. Yeah, that's <laughs> that true. used to be his problem. Where literally that is like you just go for the dash attack laser and every peach's first instinct is the dash attack there, and his first instinct is to do the thing that loses the dash attack. So it's oh, like okay, yeah. eh. Ooh, good finish Shakes actually. Really hard there, yeah. Damn. Looking like this will be a real set, I'm excited. Let's go, Kath. So you're gonna run into the inevitable problem of what happens if Catherine wins and you both want Daisy. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll take the L for now, and then if I win, it's mine. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. She also uses White Peach secondary, so there you go. So yeah, Just we're never gonna know is. which one's which until like a minute in, you power shield something. Can you imagine a seven man tunnel with two Daisies? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> And a green peach. And a green peach. I wonder and why no one entered. <laughs> yeah, there's no idea, dude. There's a few people on the sidelines. Yeah, like, yeah, like a green this. moth and yeah, yeah. Don't know. I don't know what's going on in, this, in South Australia. I have to say, green, uh, green yeah. cheek as well. I think. Then it's green. Oh, green cheek. Oh, dude. I haven't seen a green cheek in years. I think so. Like yeah, he was as well. We actually. Why does Australia have so many green cheeks? Because Midas was, a, I think. Oh, was the he red? School. I don't know. Can't remember. I I'm thought he was green, but maybe he was red. 
Midas is um, too young for yeah. you, Midas. I'm a fan of the white myself. White looks good. Kind Ooh, Kai yeah. gets. Oh no, let's go shield at the wrong uh. time. Kath looking for something spicy. I swear I try that all the time, it doesn't work. You have to turn around a bit. Interesting. Okay, that makes so, sense. So, and then yeah, you, you hard bear. Because it, lo it looks like you can get the drift, but there probably is not time. Yeah, it's like. I, I find it just best to like turn around and then you do hard bear, and then if they DI out, they DI to hard bear out, and if they yeah. DI in, they get better again. Yeah, so that, that makes sense. Like, I don't know, that, I feel like Catherine yeah. could be doing a lot of things to get out of that. Catherine's defense has never been a strong point, I have to say. Yeah, I was watching her just getting like, up throw up bit by Falco. I was very funny. Um, I do as well. I've I've been actually I've been trying to fix that, but it's hard. I swear to God. Yeah, There's something I, about that. I, that. I think I get hit by one a set, and then I just like mash the lasers and go no 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 yeah. no. This ain't happening again. What direction do you match? Uh, it doesn't matter. The, it literally doesn't the, matter. The lasers have a huge SDI multiplier. Yeah, okay. Is so it like up? I, it, up I, I think up is good for Peach, I'd imagine. Okay. Yeah. Um, I might. Uh, I, I, I'll just try I tend to just kind of go up diagonally okay. in one of the directions, and that yep. tends to be like good enough. Yeah, I like I this. tend to do like try to go back in yeah. on up, I think. Yeah. Because I get tilted every time I get hit by shit out of Falcon's up throw, and it happens too often. I'm yeah, like, you fucking doing zoom wrong? on the lasers. Yeah. So I just like neutral DI, and then I just go down. Well, I think like if it's already a mix-up on whether or not. The lasers hit you, right? Yeah, I guess. So if you DI behind him, the lasers won't hit, and it's like either yeah. he's got to react real fast or, yeah. Like he might be able to get a back air or something, but he won't get up air. I don't know. It definitely doesn't work on Fox, though. <laughs> that, that much I know for sure. Oh, okay. she actually reacts to it. Uh, she should have down smashed there. Every space he loves fucking holding down, that's why you just go. But, like, I will shine the peach. And she goes to try to react to my option. And then you spin. Uh, yeah. That was some shonky DI. Oh, that's okay. You had some interesting DI against Caleb. Yeah. Like, every time you got a need, you either, like, hot, like perfect in DI yeah. where he probably could have <laughs> needed oh, you again. I went to, like, the edge of the stage. Yeah. But yep. he probably, like, had he realized he could have gone again. Yeah. Or, like, so far down and away that it's, like, almost a struggle for Peach to get back. Yeah. That was, yeah, I, I saw that as well. That was that was wacky. I don't know what was going on with was Caleb. I was playing. That's okay. Yeah. Caleb's playing not bad. Well, yeah, Caleb also the sort of player that like that'll start happening if he like gets into a rhythm. It's just like frustrating to keep him from like doing Caleb things constantly. Yeah. But if you break that rhythm, you're fine. Yeah, I think I think that's the case. I don't know. That was just something something that much going on. Try to yeah, this is, this is a big stop for Catherine. Just, like, I think this set's very over if she does not take this stop. Yeah. One of the more competitive um, 3 O's that I've seen from Kai Kai Catherine. Ooh. Uh, that's what Sorry, you need. That's the chance. You gotta take those, Catherine. Take it all the way. Just holding all the way in with an aerial with not a care in the world. What is he gonna do? Punish me? This is South Australia. He didn't do that. That is true. <laughs> Oh no, Nair. Nair is not the answer. Oh, I like that. That was actually a well time. That was definitely a land on the platform and just down smash everything. Do something. Yeah. Go and sit down there and wait for Falco to tech and get away for free. Yeah, it definitely feels like uh, it feels like how I feel. Like watching Kath is feels like how I feel when I could like come back playing Peach after another while where it's like you just forget how moves link into each other. And, like what yeah. you're doing. Because like Peach, you like you have to know before it happens. Well the same yeah, with a lot exactly. of characters. I think Peach is just way more telling if they don't, yeah. like, if they're trying to react and there's just not time. Yep. Whereas with other characters, you're like, oh, they were close, you know, they probably just need to speed it up, where in reality they're probably well, never yeah. getting it. Yeah. Whereas with Peach, it's just it's like... very obvious, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're just nowhere near it. Yep. Yeah, oh, you got to jump it. back there. Damn, yep. All right. 3-0. Uh, is it no. Grants? Oh, no, winners, sorry? No, it won't be for a uh, bit. So we're we doing losers through? Yeah. Okay. I'd it might be oh, Catherine will be. I'm not sure. Ooh, Peach, Peach, Peach. What's going on, Calvin? Howdy. So you got... Did you play Smiley? Okay, Catherine will D. You on stream? You Peach did on stream. But not with me.
Oh. Oops, sorry. Oh, let's hold on to that. How do you feel about that, Kai? Um. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really don't know how to feel about that. I think that's the best way I can describe. Yeah, that's how I feel like Russell Callum or something, man. I'm not doing anything. It's not even that, right? It's just, um. I'm not sure. I think the big thing is, like, I'm never under immediate threat. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. the main thing. It's like, I'm never under immediate threat. Um, and that's mainly because uh, I feel like I can go to the air at any time, you know? Like, there's no threat. Yeah, she's never going to call you out like that. No, no, no. As well as that... Um, she's very spooked to lasers as well. <laughs> Respects them a little too much. Yeah, I was talking to Catherine about that while we were practicing on the setup earlier, but um, the difference between you and Catherine is uh, in the scrap, Catherine will shield. Ah, uh, yep. Catherine will shield, uh, and, and you actually opt to try and be uh, not in shield so that you can act immediately yep. uh, after like a soft hit, um, either with like a dash attack or a grab or a down smash, yep. uh, or near if you're airborne. Um, and I was saying like, like, shield isn't bad per se, no. uh, but it's more just when you're at this range, um, Falco can uh, dominate you when, when he doesn't deserve it, basically. Yep. Yeah, it's a, uh, you, you have to push into the Falco. If you, like, exactly. it's, it's the sort of thing is like, if you're not gonna take your advantage there, and you're not gonna play low, close range game, it's like, well, how do you win? But yeah, yeah, because like, well, Falco, yeah, Falco will just sit full screen with lasers, so yeah. there's nothing he can do. Um, but enough about the game just yeah. going, we have a Peach Ditto on our hands, my guy. Oh my god, where'd the first stop go? Catherine kind of munched him. <laughs> yeah. Kind of munched him, actually. Well, it was not bad. Uh, like, from what I played, well, it was not bad at the Ditto. He's not bad? Okay. I like hearing that. I've like seen about 10, like 10 to 12 down to my chest in the first. Add three to that. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go. Whoa. Um, I think the Ooh. big difference is going to be in the turnips, and I think Will. I see. I would have thought Will was going to be like the one to pull less turnips in this matchup, but it seems to me that he's actually played oh. this matchup a little bit. Uh, so he, he's actually like finding spots to pull them. Yeah, they're both, and Catherine, Catherine's um, very reserved in how she plays this matchup. Like very reserved. I think like Will's actually faster. It's, it's like a weird. Catherine's better at like sort of not getting greedy. And Will's a lot better at sort of um, holding on to Rogue. I think Catherine understands the meta game of the matchup a bit yeah. better than Will. However, Will is uh, more proactive. I love that double jump back. I think Will's a bit more proactive in the matchup. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> you can't. That's the other half of the matchup. Is don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. Literally, don't hold down. Yeah. Oh, holding down is actually really important. It's actually really good. But don't, like, if you're expecting down smash, that's when you don't hold down. Yeah, but Will's just, like, let A of them rip. <laughs> so maybe stop. How is this close? He's taken like 400% of down smash and he's still close. Oh, oh there you oh, go, Calf. That's not the DI. There you go, Calf. That's some good shit. So I don't know if Will had bad DI in the set against Kayla, but he just got kneed over yeah. and over again. Okay, like, tell you he, like, he like died at 60 <laughs> off of tre like Dreamland side boss. So yeah. I'm like, I get the feeling that maybe he could hold out. Oh, Will's yeah. holding the stitch. Oh! Oh! Let's go, Will. Oh, no. That was really good patience, actually. I, I would be really upset if Catherine loses this because of that, actually. Oh, not. no, it might happen. Oh, my God. Will's... Oh, oh no. Oh, no! Why did you just float there? Oh, That's okay. how you got hit last time. Oh, That's no. Fine. The fine. blender's back. It's fine. Oh, no. Catherine will pull out a stitch now. <laughs> Don't get de-smashed. Oh, my God. I wish we had a fucking de-smash counter on this. <laughs> can you imagine? I, I can arrange it. <laughs> You're just like, all right, three de-smashes? I can literally arrange that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I know, but I'm gonna be funny. <laughs> I feel like the counters are like 23 or something. Like that. that was just a random number guess. See, Damn, with, that was close. See, with Slippy, you'd be able to automate that. Yeah, you yeah, would literally, you, you would, would literally be you able to would. automate that and have it like tick up every time someone did it. The future. You could, you could even have one that's like, uh, like successful down smashes and unsuccessful down smashes. <laughs> you, 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 honest to God, could do that. Yeah, it's no, really legit, uh, you could. You could probably, I reckon, yeah, oh my gosh. That's actually crazy to think about, what the hell. Dude, fuck it. I have not stopped thinking about Slippy since fucking yep. Jazz, like, had the memory card break out. I'm like, this is gonna, like, we're gonna get demos. Like, that's just gonna happen. That's gonna be so cool. 
Going back to Yoshi's, what the f I mean... I think I think it's a mutual agreement of, man, I don't want the big stage this much. They're just doing it. <laughs> They're uh -huh. just doing it! Who's gonna hold down least? Oh my god. Oh my so god. So if, if you C-stick down at the same time, right, are you gonna get hit by, like, two hits? Because you uh, If you C-stick down and, like, yeah, you hit, get a hit. I, li I like zero. Or, yeah. Like, the past high percent if you hold up after that is just one. Okay. Yeah, the biggest uh, habit is both sticks down. You just want one stick down. <laughs> See, I think um, Catherine's actually starting to speed up. Yeah, she's just holding a space. She's really, really good at, like, not... She's good at, like, being just out of threaten range while still threatening and, like, moving forward. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was really nice pressure, actually. Damn. That was amazing! That was fucking amazing! Yeah, I honestly think this matchup is actually sick. Like, so sick. What? Oh my god! The down tilt, like, low profile, the flight gets a border? Oh, that's big. That's a big turn up. Oh, oh, that was really <laughs> good feedback. I was waiting for up air. I feel like up air had a, like, uh, a longer horizontal hitbox there. It would have, but would've I think she fade back, faded back just enough. Because yeah, it's not like to, yeah, Will could have faded in with the Nair either. Yeah. It would have been shorter. And you don't want to fade in full. Uh, in most of the most of the time in this matchup, you want to be really careful how you fade. That's the entire matchup. Oh, yeah. he literally just flubbed El Cancel and died for it. Man, I'm getting spooked. Just, just hit him, Will. Just hit him. Oh, yeah, like that. Yep. That's why you don't want to fade in because the Peach can just do that. Stop jabbing. Yeah, really. Seriously, stop jabbing. Like, the only time you jab is if they're going to shield, and Catherine has not shielded in a long time. Uh, yeah, you jab on shitty aerials, where you don't... Where it's an aerial that... It's an aerial where you know you're not plus, probably. It's like I a high see, yeah. like a high nair or like a high bear. Yeah, because it's, then it's, that's going to catch a jump on yeah. shield. Well, Will's on the board on Yoshi's after two minutes. Uh, I didn't think I'd be seeing that kind of result, but... Uh, Catherine's kind of starting to run away with this. I yeah. don't know how much longer Will can trade these down smashes until uh, Catherine eventually just uh, cleans it up. Catherine's always been really good at adapting this matchup, actually. Like when I play her for longer sessions, she actually she always keeps up. Like she's, yeah. she stays, she stays on me. See, that's the thing. I think um, over time, Catherine's gonna actually like yeah. improve oh. really, really well. That was such a good. Well, time. another game on the board for Kath. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> We're going back. If you will, what do you do? Um, maybe not that. Try Pokemon, maybe. You can give it if you want the small stage, you can stay. But it's like these platforms are fucking. Catherine has done a really good job of pressuring on these platforms. I think you just want to remove the platforms. Oh! <laughs> the funny hitbox. I'm so I happy. Love the funny hitbox. Uh, part two. <laughs> part two to the up air kills. Oh, the, I love the tech on the way. Dude, cool that Catherine's, cool that Catherine's like running up and crouching against Will yep. though. Oh, the save, the homie. I think she picked that up from me when I literally just walk up to Catherine and hold down, she'll dash tag me. Nice. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, <laughs> okay. No shield drops from either player though. This is, what do you mean? This is like 2005. <laughs> Come on, Will. Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what is this game? I've fallen for that so many times. I'm like, yeah, I have time for this time. No, you don't. Ooh, I like that fade out there, actually. That was good. Oh, that was hey. really good spacing, too. Damn. Hey, come on. Will and his moments of greatness. <laughs> you know it's coming, dude. He's going to jump into it. And sometimes they do. So it's worth it. To do it all the time. See, if you do it all time, all the time, and they sometimes jump into it, sometimes it will work. Then you get to say it's a mix-up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! No! This is definitely Catherine bad for has Catherine. The bomb. This is really bad for Catherine. Oh! And nothing happened. <laughs> I'm so mad. It was right so now. close too. It would have. It almost hit Catherine. It would have killed too. That's why you do not hold that bomb. I wanted Will to get a kill like that so bad. He was ready for it too. Oh. 
Isn't the world to come back? Is what starts here? Oh, oh my really god! Really good rollout, but he. Yeah, you really want to be careful on how you double jump back in this matchup. Rough game. We're playing. Wait, uh, win this finals. finals now. All right, sure. We. We'll be back. You'll see us on the screen. Hello, hello, this is Musket here. We apparently had a full crowd for Catherine versus Will D. Now it's K, uh, Kai versus McLeod and everyone leaves. No respect. No. Um, oh, it's already filled in. Lovely. Oh, am I being joined by a co-commentator? No solo commentary. I'm being joined by Will D. Hello. Well, you hit some hype stuff that last game. Yeah, that was fun. Dumb. I came in for the end of game one. It was looking very close, very close. Uh, yeah. Not as I mean, when I don't expect to win, and then you have one close game, and then that's and have some fun after that, you know. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're like, yeah, I, I've proven my point. I've gotten this one. No. I, I thought you were going in a different direction. You're like, oh god, like I didn't think I could do it. And then like, once I once oh, it no, got god, close, no. once it got close, I was like, oh no, where do I go? Where do I go from here? All right. Uh, are they doing Hamilton? Maybe. And it's always easy when you have like zero expectation for winning. Because if you win, it's cool. And if you don't win, you're like, eh. Yeah. So McLeod rocking the Daisy Peach now. He's on a mission to be the best Daisy Peach in the world. Uh, okay. It's not a hard, um, not the hardest task, but you know. I'm sure there's some random US Daisy Peach that's like just. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, there's no like white or. Oh, no, no. Like, I can't remember. Yeah. All well, the good ones are green these days. <laughs> the old, yeah, like... Green, blue... No daisies. No yeah. why. No, no respect for the OG. Yeah. Oh. So I should make sure this is a bit closer. I'm used to, like, having it lower, because, like... Um, my voice isn't usually muffled by the mask, but... Yeah, it's... I'm not used to this. Look, if necessary, you know? I don't know. It's kind yeah. of, like... It's kind of weird, like when downstairs, like torture people without, like, well, like the whole, like, no one really wears them, right? Yeah. Because like, we don't have any COVID, but yeah. Look. Follow the rules. You know, for the time being, yeah. we'll get through it soon. Yeah. It'll be. I think it's also because, like, we like. I mean, yeah, downstairs is a ton of people. Yeah. Um, it's. Well, gamers aren't the best at um keeping to social distancing. Yeah. The notion of oh. One and a half meters, it's like, no, but uh, we need three people in this setup. We can't get three people. How are we going to get three people in this setup? About That'd be good, actually. Next BAM, just ban three people's setups. But then, like, I guess that would require them to have a crap load more. Yeah, I was about to say, BAM, I love BAM. BAM usually has, like, an issue with the amount of melee setups also going, yeah. to, going to, uh, already. So let's get in. Okay, what are your thoughts in Fal against Falco? We have two peaches on the comment on the couch. Surely um, we can muster together some knowledge in this matchup. I just go in and try and mash buttons, and it usually works. Damn! All right, I <laughs> I have a much different approach. Yeah. Um, but I I think it's very much. Dic I mean, obviously it's Falco, so like it's very much dictated on what he does after the laser. But like um, everything has counterplay. McCod. Oh. Okay. He likes doing those like. 
optimal sort of like runoff using the float and stuff, but yeah, he just missing uh, it or something. Yeah. Maybe a little execution club. Um the thing is, a lot of Falcos will just go in and just like laser dead. And depending on the spacings, you can just dash back or you can if Falco is close enough when he does laser, you can just jab or dash attack him out of like the start up of death. But if he's further away to the point where like you can't really get to him, then you can potentially just like dash back and like dash back down smash, dash back yeah. grab. I find it really hard to sort of like quantify exactly what my plan is. Mm -hmm. I just sort of like do it. I feel like against Falco I'm like in complete autopilot. Hmm. Because you don't really have time to sort of like sit there in neutral and like think. Because you're just sort of like in a float above the laser. Yeah. And you just have you just see a good time to do a move and you sort of do it. Well I just sort of do it. I think it's very easy to get like a false sense of urgency from lasers. Yeah. Like you're like, I'm getting hit. I need to do something now, even if they're only like two or three percent. Um Obviously, you shouldn't just sit there and, you know, take the laser approach. But the big thing is, you know, obviously, like, the approach after the laser. Like, yeah. if, and, like, if you're getting lasered, you can just, like, full hop after, you know, laser hit, out of laser hit, sun and float. Unless you're, like, really close. But, you know. But, um, anyway. Back to, you know, what's actually happening right oh, now. Oh, yeah. But, um, he's eked a little bit of this back, you know, McLeod. He's... He's, he's got a pretty, pretty crazy punish game, so it's like, this needs a clean hit. That's the thing, yeah. You're playing like Fox against him, it's um, it's very easy to just randomly like lose a stock out of nowhere and be like, wow, damn. Yeah. It's happened. Oh no, but you can't be, you can't be slipping on the side B. Yeah. We've all been hit by that, I'm sure you've been hit by that, especially, you know, net play. Nowadays, a lot of Falcos are just... Sometimes you mess up, they hit a side B and yeah. they get a um, their edge guard. I think I've gotten like better at it where you sort of like... Just, you just can sort of feel like just like the early there. Yeah. And it sort of just... It goes out enough where it sort of just works, but it happens, yeah. So not really... Do, like doing it partially based on like timing, or like based on reacting to the sound, but also just like having a feel like, oh, he's in this position, he's gonna side B. Yeah. Like, especially when they're like with the ledge or whatever. You sort of like catch like the like slightly above the ledge, like slightly below the ledge or whatever. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, so I feel like zoned out. I like like talking about that, but yeah. Um, what was the a weird? Game, at least. Look, look, you know. It was a weird, a weird little grab before last stock and. Um, ah, he, uh, did, he did what I did, just bunged out the the, the stitch out thinking, yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry, this is still very spooky for the Falco. Yeah, it's, it's... I think Falco Peach last stock is like... Peach favoured by like, no matter what the percent is. <laughs> it's just because the, the, your, the Falco brain's like, I don't want to lose this. And like, that mentality makes you just sort of lose. This percent is so huge. It's like, yep. so easy to just get down smash and take like, 40 into a knockdown. Um, okay. It's so hard to get that bear, actually. Like, mm. good Falcos don't let you bear them when they hit you. No, it's... yeah. Especially, like, McLeod will go for, like, very, very fast. Even potentially, like, fast fall first bears. Yep. And if you mess up fast fall first and you're just randomly, like, doing it on fast fall... Yeah, you get on. And oh, that was... That was cool. Oh. Okay. Now, now we're getting to the percent where Nair's knocking down and things get... Oh, the power shoot, yeah. Oh, that. Ooh, that, that, was, that was a very sketchy up B from Kai, but McLeod Kai didn't, didn't do anything to like really punish it. Okay. Falco really wants a barrel down to it right now, and it's dumb. Kai's had like the. Oh no! Damn. Damn. I'll just say, Kai at the center of the stage for like a whole minute there. And then... There's no reason to really overcommit, right? Yeah. You got, if, at that percent, it's like, there's no point running in doing an air. It's very tempting to, you know, run into a bad nair or dare, but like... That's what I always do when I'm like down last stock, I sit the ledge and pray. <laughs> if it works, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I think FD is such a weird stage, it's like, you always read about like Falco, Peach stuff, it's like, oh, just float above the laser, but it's like on FD, you sort of like, there's no reason for the fact that ever do anything. You're just like sitting there, like floating or anything. Yeah. Oh. It's sort of like the Falco like gets a lot out of FD because of that. Mm. But you know, you also just die if you grab. So 
That's true. It can be so hard to get a grab as well. Like, yeah. On, it's like, it's not just as... Oh, oh. Oh, this is... That, that was, was very, crazy. very clean. There's definitely like the peach like level where like you go from being like doing like peach things into like actually just like doing the correct punish game. Such a huge like leap. Oh, for sure. One hot like. I think for me I would like rely on not on like getting a strike hit and almost like tech chasing or just like reading. Because McLeod knows the flow charts for the punish games and stuff. Mm. I think the two big things are like, oh, that was very, very. I think that I slap dashes are so cool. Yeah. I, every time I do them, I like to send my whole brain power doing it, so I just like get owned. But like, if you just do them, like, yeah. That's the thing. You, just, you can call, use it more and more, and eventually you incorporate it, and it becomes like, becomes natural. Um. But going back to like Peach Punish game, it's. I think once like learning to like very being very comfortable incorporating soft bears and soft nairs, yeah. and like getting just faster up airs, just getting used to doing like. Yeah. Like if I see like a guy above me and just up air them, that's it. Whereas the cloud knows how to convert that into another up air or something else. Yeah. I think like, Kai's definitely doing the, like the sort of Falco, like again, similar thing I guess with the whole level stuff. It's like, for me and I'm playing against Falco, against like um, Bailey or Kai, it's like, you can't get free hits on them. Like you have, like that makes the matchup like ten times harder mm. because you have to earn your neutral wins. But against like lower level Falcos, you just sort of yeah, like you just mash buttons. Or like, again, like if they just do a, like a narrow against you, you just shield it and then bear. Yeah, and that gives you like so much mileage and free space to do whatever you want. But sure. like Kai and just won't let you just bear for free. No, it makes oh. it a whole difference for the game. Because if you try and like do an like an approaching bear, the hitbox is typically not going to be as yeah. like, strong as so Like a bear out of shield sort of thing. thing is, stuff like bear out of shields, you, like, it's hard because like you can do like slow cancel bears out of shield, but yeah. A, the timing is tough, and B, it's like, even perfectly done, it's a few frames, like, yeah. be at least like, what, one frame slow because of the float? Yeah, so that's why like, like a newbie Thugger killer is bear out of shield. Yeah. But it does not work against better people. Ah, <laughs> uh, he went for. He guessed uh, tech away. All right, how are we closing out the stock? Probably, probably not. Probably bail down to it. Probably bad, to be honest. Kai like, always just does like the massive pillar combos on me, but like he doesn't have to be happening as much. He's sort of like taking center stage and just getting like the the hits. Okay, we're gonna see here. Well, yeah. That's a lot of Falcos in that spot will try and do an up tilt after that dare. Yeah. And Peaches will just, like, better Peaches will just float above it and then just come down for it. I always get hit by the second one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, sh he should be able to. Oh, oh! What the hell? Such a good tech. Did, did he have to, like, SDI in for that or did he just tech it? I would assume he had to SDI in, right? Off that, like. Damn, good effort. Good effort. On. Well, it's hard. In that situation, last doc, um, there was a little bit of hesitation on that side B by Kai initially, the first one. Yeah, was trying I to said, like, Peach, or Peach Falco, Peach always wins like the last doc. No. Well, no, but it's easier. That, that like slightly delayed his side B. I think like he could have like... Because yeah. I mean, you said you, he's, he's making it back, and I thought it was that as well, yeah. Mm. Um, but it's hard, yeah, I know myself, last doc, it's like, even if you can hit that like perfectly timed, perfectly spaced uh, side B in training mode. Yeah. Torment's a different thing. All right, going battlefield. We got the top plat. Uh, it's very easy to retreat to it. Peach has a lot of issues actually covering it. Like, I mean, I think this whole this whole set, Kai just had the center stage, but then McLeod just had the bigger punish game or something. Mm. Nice, that's sick. <laughs> I remember watching that Quetz video, like. Yeah, like, like a few years ago, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And I tried it once, I'm like, oh, it's sick. But never to, yeah. yeah it, it, it requires so much brain power to do it. You're just like so obvious, charging forward. You just dumb slap dash. And then you just get owned. But it also like requires you to know when to go for it. Yeah, a lot of people, yeah. especially at like, especially at like, say, random on ranked, you know, a lot of play, like on Slippy or whatever. People aren't going to like. People a lot of times are gonna like try and put out a hitbox to deal with your hitbox. And, yeah, like, he's got owned, yeah. You need to have you like you need to understand that they're going to the shield to actually throw it out. You can't just throw it out as like a first option. Like Go Kai, platform camping. 
If he's down to, you know, it'd be funny. He just can't. He's down two stocks and he just decides, yeah, you know, yeah. now's the time to. Oh no, oh, this is uh, uh, yeah. looking like a write off. Yeah, write off. Write off game. You know, GG go next. Um, oh, everything's Fair gone. Enough. Everything's not going his way. Oh, yeah, that should be it. Man. Yeah. Oh, he made it back, too. Alright, yep. Fair enough. Alright, well. I'm sure Peach is having fun. I'm sure Peach is, you know, thinking this is fun. Um, poor Falco. Falco's just getting bobbed. Yeah. Getting sna smacked around. Okay, Stadium. No top lap. Peach dies off the top a lot quicker, though. Wait, we into Yoshi's yet? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Not bad. I believe so. Yeah. I'm, and now I'm second guessing myself. Did we go game one to Yoshi's? No, it was Stadium. No, it was it was the big one, Dreamland. Oh yeah. So we don't think we've been to Yoshi's. You're right. I would have thought Yoshi's like ten times better than Stadium, but like, I don't know. It's spooky against Peach though. If Peach Die. is like comfortable boxing, and you're not as like, if Kai, I guess, if Kai isn't the most comfortable like. Yeah, because he has been taking just like center stage control, he's like, so yeah. he wants the space, maybe. Like, I guess my logic is that like, if the cloud just kind of like edge guard him every time anyway, he may as well scope to small stage, but... Yeah, but a small stage is a lot easier to be put in this edge guard, so it's like... True. Off a random like Nair knock... Nice. A random Nair at 70 on like Stadium is not as likely to put him in that edge guard spot, it's just a text situation, which yeah. a lot of times features struggle covering. Um, whereas Yoshi's, yeah... They didn't connect, I guess the dare hitbox wasn't active that frame that Kai was like grabbing. Yeah, I don't know. Like I always I just, I just bugged that one out as well, but Because uh. I mean dare isn't like one active hitbox. There are like frames in between where right. you know, just nothing comes out. Oh, I really love that fair. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but like it worked. It, yeah, just to it put him on to me. Just to put him on like that um other side fight. Or well, yeah, the left yep. side fight of stadium and just it's just so annoying when you just can't kill. When you can't <laughs> Oh, okay. A little empty hop into, I guess, a turnaround bear. Instant turnaround bear. I love that West Balls clip where, like, he's playing some Peach. I thought I actually the one that came to, like, the band. Vitesse. Vitesse oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, Vitesse on, like, a 200%. He comes at, like, fares, like, West Balls. West Balls is like, fuck, why is he camping me? Oh, I know, yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> you just keep can't kill him. That's stiff. Uh oh, little little bit of um, Oznet playing that. No, I'm not gonna say any names, but you know, a little bit of unranked vibes. Okay. I do like double A's and get out. Don't we? Don't we all? Yeah. Don't we? It's like no, screw you. I mean, things like at least Kai like Kai has Compton ledge dashes. You run into some Falcons that will just like only uh. double laser <laughs> or like side B. I feel like that's to me that's like the quest because he always does that or like when we play on that play, but mm. it looks cool. Yeah. Oh, the fight. Thing is, if you have good ledge dashes and you force them to um like they, you force them to give up some space yeah. as a result of it, that opens up double laces. That makes it a lot better. Like, yeah, because if it makes like the, the mix up not just like a default. Like if I'm playing a Falco that can't ledge dash, I'm just like standing right next yeah, to right. Legend just putting out a hitbox above them, whereas like if I have to respect Ledge dash. I have to go up a certain amount of space. I feel like that whole like Kai missing ledge dash meme isn't really a thing anymore. Not really. Like it was like a year ago or whatever. No. Or like the controller. Oh, the, like the random controller. Like yeah, you like you'd always like pick a new controller. It would be shit. And now it's like he just sort of hits them, right? Yeah, just yeah. Look, we're all out there trying to find the perfect controller. Um, uh, I'm not. No, no, no. no yeah. I want Look. the panda one or whatever it's called. Well, it's a later, right? I should, yeah. I should rephrase. We're all, out, we're all out there hoping we just randomly get the perfect controller. Yeah. Some of us will look for it. Some of us will just, you know, well, this one isn't that great. Maybe in three years when it, you know, breaks, the next one will be good. Yeah. All right. Back to the last dog, Peach. Falco. Spooky stuff. Yep. As always, yes, the center stage. Oh, oh. up throw there. You should never get hit by up throw. 
Yeah. Oh, get on. <laughs> I remember a while back um, joking about it being the Milo killer. That, like, up, and then, like, Garen Kai saying, like, yeah, no, that was a musket kill beforehand. Oh, I was yeah. like, aww. <laughs> Every time I get hit by right. anything after an up throw, I'm like, oh, I bug it up. Yeah. Yeah. There's, like, this, because it's just, it's counterplay. There's, like, so much you can be doing. Die, right? Yeah, you can just, you can, um, you should be just realistically getting hit by the lasers and then just sky them. I think with Falco, if you just hold left or right, you can't really get hit, can you? Or Depending on the percent in the character. Right. Yeah, so I'm like, I mean, that's Peach, that's Peach. That's Peach? I'm actually not 100% sure. Actually. For me, it feels like I just don't ever get hit if I just DI one of them. Yeah. But maybe, I don't know. I, I think Fox, there are like some follow ups that certain sense where like if you don't get hit by the late lasers, you Falco still has a follow up. I think, if, I just think though, if you um, DI you fall behind, and in TSE at least, because I don't think you can DI behind in power. Oh, Fox. yeah, I don't know. I just smash your button. I just smash, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, nice. I think this whole, like, yeah, this, this game, Kai again, just has to set a stage. He has a, he's a plan, it's working, I like that. Mm. Let's dash jab, it's cool. Ooh, tricky movement. I think both players, like, yeah, really trying their best to get the, the first neutral win. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty big deal in this match. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like, you can tell they're both, like, have plans to come into when they come into the neutral. Mm. I mean, obviously they do, but like it just this this sort of slower game highlights it even more. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, that was a that was an iffy like that was an iffy pair by um, but he was just like trying to guess I guess read that like yeah. cover the side B. I think he's doing a slide too early. Like he's picking his float high and then Kai just not going where he's floating. Mm. Ooh, that was a dummy box, but anyway. Yeah, look, beach bear. Like, you know, <laughs> Kai's, done really, Kai's done a great job building up his lead, but it's so easy for it to just yeah. disappear in a blink of an eye. And... Ah, oh, lazy air smash. I think the one thing that like isn't really happening is that like Kai... I don't know if it's like with Cloud's like, def like defensive game or not, but Kai isn't really getting many like Nair or Dare shines and stuff like that. Oh. Like for me, like when I get like sort of stuck like in neutral, I just sort of get like Nair shined a lot, whereas mm -hmm. like Kai's really has to work for his hits. That's true. You can make, like, stuff like Dashine, you can make it so much trickier with FDI. Yeah. Which. It's, it's scary. Like. There's not that much fraudulent neutral going on, I think. No. Like, I could be wrong, but to me, it seems like that. Yeah, I think. Kai's also punished um, the Cloud just like. Uh, like. Ledge stuff. The Peach is bad ledges a lot. He's killed him a lot of just like the regular get up. And yeah, I feel like that last uh, regular get up wasn't intentional. Maybe. That's. It's such a risky guy. Like doing it above 100, you're like basically hoping that they just messed up. Yeah. But they I, don't rec they don't recognize it. Because you have so much time to recognize it and then punish it. Like, yeah. if you time it right. I always just regularly get up. And I, yeah, I don't really like look for cent. Or like, I often just don't realize I'm above 100. Oh, I just ah. puts it out there. Getting hit by a, like an F smash. Up, oh, saves oh, him, I think. Yeah. It's just, yeah, frustrating. Ah, oh, really good. You really want to see like, the confidence to still be ledge dashing in these game yeah, five, you know, yeah. situations. The game plan has to change and start. No, yeah. Because like, there's so many spots where you can't be thinking to yourself, well, if I mess it up, I'm gonna die. Because there's a lot of spots where if you just go for the like easy worst option, you're gonna die regardless. You know? Yeah. Oh, really? Good side i I'm um, sure McLeod can tell when people start doing that. Yeah. Oh. Yep. This spot can be really brutal. This is for Falco. He's still yeah. a few good neutral wins away from closing out, and it's just so easy to go from zero to fifty. Oh, that was a like yeah, nice floats. Ah, uh, I thought that wasn't gonna kill. I was like, damn, <laughs> Falco Stop sucks. That. But yeah. no, nah, he got it. Um. Ooh. Chains up the float high. Oh, oh really good possible. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is the first like actual like sort of spaghetti of the set. A little bit, a little bit. Oh, the empty, the empty float. And also grabs. Oh no, that was a, yeah, the pad's pissed, oh, that was the game. That, yep. Oh, up, up for a We got hit right up there again. 
Oh, really good fadeaway off that um, off that nair to just avoid the nair to shield. Dash tag. Ah, oh, unfortunate. That was a good set. That was a good set. Yeah, that was a, that was a really insane set. Uh, I believe we have loser semis now. Oof. Losers. Semis. Which I'm guessing is Caleb and Kath? No idea. Well, Caleb's standing up, so I'm going to assume it's him. We have Caleb and... Unless one of them got upset by someone else, but I doubt it. Why not Kaffin's lose? Unless Caleb lost to, like, what, H. Smiley or Benno? Does H. Smiley play Mark? I believe so. He's improving, actually. He's doing... He's actually... Um... Cool. Yeah. It's good to see. It was actually fun. Like, I'm not... I'm used to, like, coming up and commentating and just, like, seeing a Samus just been like, oh, beep boop, beep boop. Just... <laughs> I have no idea what to... Like, I can't actually contribute to, like... You're, you're there for the, um... The play-by-play, -play, less color comment. You're just there... Yeah. You're, Play by play is just melee is just useless anyway. It is, yeah, no. It's, it's so like annoying when you go on like streams in general and it just they just sort of like are saying the moves. I, you, yeah. I, I've, actually, I've, I've been to like like ultimate streams or whatever. Yeah. And they just like be this slow like uh, like, like this really slow matchup. They're like, oh man, damn, sports smash. It's like I, I, can, I can see the screen. Like, it's very really annoying. I think it's very easy for people to um. Treat it like radio, especially when they're like, even if they're just having an off day in commentary or they're like newer to it, it's very easy to be like, well, yeah, what am I going to contribute? I guess if you like don't know like the the matchup and it's, there was like thousands of matchups in that game, you can't really like talk about it. Yeah, um, I think at a certain point, you either need, if you're not like, if you don't have any expertise in the matchup, you just need to like talk about your experiences with it, maybe yeah. watching it and like. Or just like say it's like funny. Something. You need to like say something. Don't be that person that just sits there for like says yeah, one thing every. One person's like saying all the moves. The other one's just sitting there like. And they're just like. I think it's cool to say like moves that they're unexpected. Like you're like oh wow the. Yeah no react. But like you react. Just, yeah. yeah. Reacting and like it being a meaningful reaction is something. But like yeah. Just being like all right and the peach is out of bear going for the edge guard. It's like come on, it's not radio. Yeah. But I'm glad I've done that. I doubt in the past. Especially my early commentary. I was like, alright, yeah, no, we're gonna It's an easy thing to criticize, yeah. It is. It's um we've all been there. And you know what? People when they're starting out on commentary, you shouldn't you know, you should give them advice pointers, but it shouldn't be too harsh because most people most people are terrible when they start out on commentary and you know what? most scenes need more people to step up and commentate just, you know, sets. Especially small scenes. Yeah. I know I say we have like spots where it's like <laughs> when we get to because a lot of the people that do commentate are in like are a better place. You know, yeah. that we're like so we get to the spot where we're in like say top three, top four, whatever, and it's like But who's who, who's left? Who's who are we gonna like wrangle? To yeah, true. That's why I've done like a lot of your finals. I'm just sitting there like I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like me and Bell just say some random crap. It's pretty fun, <laughs> but like I love Catherine's Love Catherine's like whole set, like she's got the black beanie, the, like the black mask, the like black outfit, and she has a yeah, like it's very intimidating. Very yeah, the most intimidating five foot two smasher in SA. And we have all the kids there. We have a lot of scary kids. Some spooky stuff. They kind of you know. It's all match up. I just uh, I, I don't get it. Watching like Catherine just like in like the cloud just like do it. I'm just getting like, raw need every second. I'm like oh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> I don't I really don't like this matchup personally. Um, from my times playing Peach, I was comfortable enough, competent, but it's like it just feels like you're chasing down this impossibly fast man. And you're like playing by his beat, and then you see yeah. Catherine just throwing out a death tech there. She just understands when Caleb wants to go in. Yeah, yeah. I think for me, I've just sort of like, again, with this matchup, I'm just sort of like bugging out moves and Caleb's reacting to me and then just punishing it. Mm. Or it's like other matchups, I'm like... Oh, no. No, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's I think she could have actually made it if she floated right after that. Yeah. Um, right after... Okay, well, we got the homie stuck. We got the, yeah, the unintentional homie stuck. You better believe inside he's like, God, fuck. God damn it. 
I had I had the lead. I had everything. I'm missing a couple of those actually. Yeah, look. Uncharacteristic. Turns out, turns out when um, maybe we're just having an off day. Damn, maybe I should have. I should have. I should have taken a um, a break. So the reason why I'm not actually entering. Yeah, yeah. Um, I that. So, <laughs> all of yesterday, I was actually helping my mom out. Um, there's a whole bunch of like random like old furniture that's in between the gates that had to be like removed eventually. So we hired out a skip bin. And um, obviously, not all of that wouldn't have fit in there, like by itself. Couldn't yeah. just like put them. So I ended up spending most of the day getting a sledgehammer and just like, breaking apart. Um, That's kind of funny. You know, it's it's actually like quite fun in a way. But it's maybe like the first hour. Yeah, eventually it starts becoming um just you know work. But got it done. But yeah, my hands are quite sore. So I was like, you know, Fair what? I'm gonna take a um break. So you know, sunburn on the back of my neck because I was an idiot and did not slip, slop, slap. It's always like the first time when it's hot, you like forget that it's going to exist. Yeah, and then you, a few hours later, you're just like, oh, damn. Yeah. Damn, I got one. Okay. Well, Caleb doing a good job to um, not fall. Not fall <laughs> Why do I get sugar grab there and he doesn't do it to Catherine? <laughs> like, fuck at that. Well, um, he's probably scared of Catherine like, yeah. running out of shield or something. He's not very scared of me, clearly. No. Oh, that's uh, up any. Again, I, yeah, I completely just zoned down the game with talking about your story. I'm not what's going on. Well, I mean, look, I'm sure the Catherine people at home. Winning. I'm sure the people at home. I'm sure the players playing this set would rather him about my. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's it. I think. I'm assuming Catherine can like cover. Yep. All right. That was interesting. How she like. I don't know. I felt like he could have. Caleb's the king of like buffering roll, right? And he just didn't do it there. Yeah. He, um, he wasn't like safe or anything. Maybe? I don't know, maybe he's scared of Catherine like waiting, putting out that. But like, that's bot like, I don't know. I don't think that's bot um, the Peach is gonna like. Like last stock, I. Well, like, wait, is Catherine the last stock? I think she was on last stock. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like at zero or something. Yeah. Like last stock, people aren't typically gonna go for like hit shield wait as a read a lot of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just like, gotta mash it out. Hit shield. Because a lot of times people are gonna just shield grab in the corner there. So you might as well go for like hitbox in the second hitbox. Now. You're faster, or like you just have like, you can also go for like say um, hitbox into dash away. Yeah. You know. That doesn't exist. It's hitbox into second hitbox, or it's um. Hitbox dash away is the last stock sort of situation. Yeah. I think hitbox dash away can be last stock out. I, to be honest, at least with Fox, I'm sure like Peach you can also feel like. Cause, I mean Fox is obviously faster, but Peach shield pressure can be like Peach typically can get um safe on hit shield pressure than Fox. Yeah. Right. At least for the first hit. Like, you can get to, like, say, plus two, yeah. plus three or four if you're very, very fast. Well, not, well yeah. yeah, if you, like, do a very low float aerial. Whereas Fox is typically at best getting, like, zero, and a lot of times getting, like, minus two, minus three. Sure. It's always weird, like, talking about, like, frames and stuff like that. Mm. Where it's, like, because, like, it's different to normal, like, fighting games, how, like, if you do like a minus two thing on shield, it's still like there's nothing to like punish it. Yeah. It's like different how that works because you can like. Whereas like in other games, if you're like negative on shield or negative on like frames, you sort of like. It's because um, there's like, less movement options to sort of like yeah like. Like dash back is a yeah. lot less um, powerful than a lot of other FG. Yeah, yeah, FG that's games. sort of what I was trying to get at. Yeah. A lot of times, if you hit someone when you're minus two, you're thinking to yourself, well. I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to shield. I'm going to put block. Yeah. Because they're probably going to put out like something reasonably quick, you know, say a jab or something. And yeah, because they're like, they're, it's their turn or whatever. Yeah, it's their turn. You just accept it. Oh, that was really good movement by Captain. She just kind of holds board a bit too long. Oh, knock down. Yeah, take away. Sort of puts out a fair to like... Like, she went to put out that fair to cover tech in place, but she also put, sort of expected tech away, so she was veering forward. You have she to was, like, always expect tech away. Yeah, you would, yeah. And the thing is, if you react, like, you can re still react to tech in. Right. If they tech in, you have so much more time to react true, to it true. than tech away, so you oh, might as well. Yeah, nice, good. She covers ledge. No need to, you know, no need to put out in there or there. Just. Sometimes you just need to, you know, grab ledge and press L. A lot of people have issues at times with just, you know, doing the simple stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. It scared me. Yeah, I thought she, um, uh, she did, like, a double jump there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. It, I didn't hear the sound, but I still, I still assumed she did one. Hmm. I did a few times, actually, where Catherine has done, like, 
like double jump to Nez. Mm. It's just like I mean, it doesn't really matter though in the scheme of things, but it's still like a like a mistake, I guess. I actually have no idea what that is. Uh, oh, I probably changed the commentary thing. Oh. Yeah. Um, what were we saying? Actually, what I was going to say beforehand was um, there was like a, a spot back there where Captain was like then dashed away, and that was a good example of like just you know hitting shield and dashing away to like you know beat out the shield grab or whatever. But uh, oh, oh, that caught the float. No, it didn't. Never mind. She didn't float. I thought she floated. I don't know, I just like, in, in my set, like, I just kept getting, like, hit by moves. Mm. And this is, like, not happening here. Like, I don't know if it's the captain's, like, yeah, like, I don't know, yeah, just a lot of things, obviously. Okay, doesn't go to a side flat. Both, like, like before, like, both players have a game plan, and they're sort of reacting to, like, well, they have the game plan, they're sort of reacting to what the other person does and adjusting, as opposed to, sort of, like... Then you feel like you're just putting out, like, a general... Yeah. You have a general game plan. It's not really based on the player in this matchup. You feel more like it's not based on the like situation. Okay, sure, yeah. Whereas like it's clear like when like depending on where they are on the stage and what moves coming out, they both are like reacting accordingly. Hmm. Which oh, this is great. This is potentially big. Oh, this is yeah. Tech chase just puts out a net. Uh -huh. And that's yeah. The punish game with Falcon is so much harder unless like, you get like a really low percentile or like. Oh, that was a really clean, this instant up, instant landing up here. Yeah, I think you have that sort of thing as back, and you sort of like bung out the big moves, and if they're on 140, they just sort of die around. The yeah, onset that percentage is like, well, you just go up here. All right, Captain going straight to bot. Oh, it's it's hot OFD. These are both pretty good choices. Um, and the really understood the whole like matchup of this matchup, the stage of this matchup. Sorry, but oh, yeah, like. Yeah. When I've heard people say about apparently like FOD is like really awkward for like Falcon's like movement and stuff. The thing is, depending on platform heights, Peach can just kind of like sit under them. Yeah. And it's very hard for Falcon to actually um, get in. Apparently a lot of the time like he sort of like moves just like get like stuffed by the platforms. Yeah. Because like, like, well, like, yeah, it's, and like say this platform height right now, it's not uh, nowhere near as bad. Yeah. But um, once it gets lower, like it's just so tricky. But yeah. <laughs> Basically, once like short hop near or like you know, short hop approach um, gets stuffed out by the platform, it really does feel like that certain like that amount of stage is cut off, and you just have to like kind of meander around. Yep. And like, that's when Fellow Falcon starts stomping. stomping. <laughs> that is the one thing you get on the stage is you get pretty cool stomps. But yeah. That's not you're losing more than you get. I think. Yeah, I mean that's, that's why a lot of a lot of Falcons don't. Or opt to ban the stage or that OFD. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. I think we're over the end, was cool. The thing is, the um, Peach Falcon chain grab doesn't actually go on for that. It's still very brutal, but it's no, like, it doesn't feel quite as oppressive as, um, yeah, Fox Falcon, or uh, uh, Fox Falco, because it doesn't go for as long, and, um, since Falcon's heavier as well. If you like DI into center stage at the percent where you can get out and like Peach has to nail or whatever, and you do get say up road nair, you're not getting sent anywhere as far. Whereas a lot of times, uh, you know, Fox or Falco is getting hit by a nair at say like 90. It's maybe setting up an edge guard situation. Like, okay, that's not gonna be it, but winch and repeat. I feel like both players could maybe like their. I mean, like obviously. Just this seems like the, the punish games are like super. I think they're both like I don't know, like maybe a bit. Oh, that's, that's a punish game. I guess. <laughs> that's a punish. Okay. Uh, I mean that that dash attack was fine as a like yeah. react sort of thing, but it wasn't the best option. She definitely could have done a um there afterwards. But if you're not comfortable doing it and you just want to do the like fast easy option, sure. Yeah, and you're ahead. Yeah. It's like you're better off. Obviously, you're better off doing the right option, but. The bad okay option is better than nothing. Or flopping and then, you know, getting That was a reversal. cool dodge attack. Just hit him. <laughs> I think K was wisened up to the, um, the sort of like late nares on the shield. They don't really do anything unless you like let them, right? No, oh, late nares, like, you, you think he's like... like, like, like short hop nares on, like, when they... When, like, the Falcon's above you, you sort of short hop nair. It's like, it's very negative, I'm assuming. Oh. Right? I'm trying to think of like exactly. Oh, whoa, okay. She was holding out. That was. Yeah, that happened to me. A lot. Ah, okay. I was expecting to see. I was waiting to see what nice. like, he did to punish that RP, but kind of misses it. But That's a better punish. Mm. 
Oh, that could be a shield grab, but Caleb just yeah. respecting the shield pressure. That's the thing, if you have confident shield pressure, you can get away with, like, messing up a few times, because... Yeah, they cool. can't, like... You get you condition a person to respect your shield pressure, then, you know, that's huge. Oh, and suddenly, I... This was... I was 100 riding this off, but this is... It's still iffy. And I mean, yeah, is, uh, she knows the wrong move, but yeah. There was some hope. If you get a grab at like a zero, you, you get like a lot of it. It's been a good set. Uh, yeah. You think we're going, I feel like we're going in Battle Hall to Dreamline. Um, uh, probably not Battle Hall. Like? Dreamline? Maybe? Pay for me what the stages have been, to be honest. Uh, Cap one on. Cap one on either Battle I can't remember where they played game one. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I feel like it was Battle Hall. I feel like it was Battle Hall game one. Um, Kale definitely won on Stadium, and Cap's won on... The thing is, Cap has the FD counter pick, but Kale's punish game is actually quite confident against floaties. I'd say yeah. like, he has like a decent idea of the float shot when there's no platform. If platforms start getting in the way, it kind of messes up his um, you know, sort of float chart. But yeah, I stopped bothering going to FD. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think every match happens still. Oh, hello, Kizza. What's up? Are you enjoying this, you know... We got... These two competent players right now. We've got um, when loses semis, when game four. This is actually a lot better than all of these sets usually go. <laughs> a lot of yeah, times, Gavin just kind of washes. Caleb, Caleb really wants this. Caleb uh, usually there's usually one game where like Caleb comes reasonably close, and then like Athens wins neutral like 50 times in a row. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and like the, that. it's usually like the game after where Cap just does that, and then yeah, it's like all right, well. Okay, <laughs> that was uh. He like he was trying to pressure Cap from the legend. He that just was did cool. a okay, like dance match. Yep. So he was trying to pressure Caleb was trying to pressure Cap from the legend. Um, he just did like these fadeaway bears, but he gave up way too much space. So yeah, that's like, what I mean. Like nothing, like, nothing Captain did there uh, was particularly like no. flashy, but she just sort of knew where she had to be. Yep. And that can be a thing. Like it's the mental game is so huge. Whereas if he was more comfortable, confident against like pressuring there, he yeah. may like say against say someone like you. He would have need me, and I would have died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're, Let's think. I think Catherine was recognizing that Caleb was just kind of throwing out hitboxes and just yeah. in that spot you can be a lot more comfortable with just like putting out dash checks because they're no longer thinking of shielding or like dashing away. They're just like me Falcon mean. Oh, what the hell, Cap? <laughs> that was a <laughs> grab the ledge. That was like you know as I was saying before. Sometimes you just need to grab ledge hold L. Sometimes. Yeah, there's a lot of my set where I'm just sort of like at the ledge like shielding. I'm like, why am I doing that? Oh yeah. Yep. I think a big thing as well is like getting more comfortable holding ledge and recognizing when they can only go to ledge at that point. Because Peach can just sort of float out there, and once Falcon drops down like low enough to the point where he has to up B towards ledge and can't go to stage, you can just yeah. grab ledge immediately. Whereas Catherine just wants to put herself in that position and then just put out a bear whenever. Oh no, don't! She was Epic DI. I promise she was oh. holding. She was holding in on everything for the last up air, then she like held yep. out on that up air and Classic. almost. But yeah, we've all done that at times, but. Okay. I like the the, uh, the dash to make the uh, buffer roll read. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh damn, she, that okay. was a lot of confidence. I'm pretty she, sure that was an accident. The like, accident, the accident will turn up. You think? Oh, I mean, I do it. Like, yeah, I just pack in this mash and it comes out. I'm like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. But I think it may not have been. So Catherine, there was, there was a few dash tags there where like Catherine just throws out on shield and then Caleb doesn't like shield grab. Yeah, I think it's oh. Sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, it's just like one of those things where it's like you see a shield and it's like going smaller and you're like BAM and it's just, it's just like it's just like the worst but you just... So if sharing platforms don't mess up with like down for down any or whatever, down for any actually isn't true. Yeah. Um, you have a few frames to add all jail. Um, I've still been too lazy to actually like practice that but... Catherine is as well. So that, nice. down for any will definitely work on um, Cap and that's not even, you know, sort of like coaching with like everyone knows, Gail knows it, Catherine knows it. Um, I'm glad of myself are really the only features yeah. in SA that I would say who was like, oh, okay. With the new Uncle Punch, it's like, yeah. I haven't really looked into it, but it seems like it could like set that up be much uh, easier, right? I think it's probably easy to do it in 20XX. Uh, I thought, oh, okay, okay. I think it's easy, you can set up just a safe state, because it's like really awkward to like, there is no like, Falcon doing down throw knee on you and like Uncle Punch, okay. right? So you like, can't... I don't know about the new one if it's like easier to set up safe stages. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I haven't actually touched the Me neither. That's yeah. why I was asking. Yeah. Um, okay. You can definitely set it up in 20 XX though. You can set up yeah. like. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was like, what's she gonna do? And I was like, well, this should be it. 
Ah. Uh, I think. Once he can he went for up air. Okay, he needs a grab. At yep. zero. Into up to up airs. Yeah, Cap just wants a nail. Um, yeah. Nail fair right now. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. catches him out. That was, a, yeah, that was a good set. Yeah, it was, it was I think, it was definitely like, Catherine just didn't have free reign of it. No. That's it. It's, it's getting closer. Catherine, you know. Uh, I don't know if like, yeah. yeah. I, you can't really like quantify exactly what like it was, but. It's improvement. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. It's, it's like. She didn't have free reign, but she still was allowed to do pretty fraudulent stuff. She was still reasonably comfortable in the situation. Yeah. There were definitely spots where she just, like, knew exactly what Caleb wanted. But yeah, yeah. Like, like there's just sort of, like, really slow movement, like, uh, like, like near the ledge. And also, I didn't see you comment for Kizza. How are we? How are you, Kit? How are you, Will? How are you feeling? I am good. I'm feeling, um, not as so much shy now. I was definitely a lot of, like, hard work getting rid of some furniture yesterday. <laughs> um, just breaking in some old, apart some old furniture with Sledgehammer. Um, I'm feeling better now, just enjoying this sometimes. It's actually really nice to just sit here and like not have the pressure of like competing in a tournament. Even if it's a like small thing, even if it's a small tournament, it's always that like pressure to like, oh, I wanna win. I wanna compete, you know, I wanna beat whoever I'm playing. And it's nice just being able to sit back and watch the melee without like I guess it's like with my situation, I just play two people that I never beat. So I'm <laughs> like, yep, I don't really care. Yeah, no, it actually is, it actually is, because we had a, like, using a sledgehammer, because it's using a regular, like, it's not like you just tear it apart with your hands. It's like, but getting a sledgehammer and just, like, smashing it is, yeah, it was fun. Um, hard work, though. <laughs> a lot of hard work. A lot of, um, wasn't literally just smashing as well, just, like, carrying it apart, like, getting rid of, like, the tougher pieces, like, um, yeah. This is going to be a bit interesting, because I think, oh, I know, like, Catherine definitely has beaten Oh, close. Catherine has definitely beaten Kai before, and it's always close, but... Ha has Catherine beaten Kai before? Uh... <laughs> I'm pretty um, sure. It was like... At least once. Um... Maybe. Yeah. They've had some very close sets, Yeah. Catherine's definitely taken a lot of, like, games. I'm trying to think Catherine's actually... Oh, yeah, McLeodas and Grants. Uh, he's in Winnerside, and this is Loser's Finals. I think, um... The difference is, like, the cloud just has that extra, like, kind of what I was talking about before, where, like, the cloud has that extra sort of, like, level where you just don't, you can just get away. You do, like, those extra level of things, and you can't, you don't get punched. Sorry, let me, I don't right. Go on, go on, go on. We'll wind it back, you know. Yeah. Re Recollect your thoughts. Let's start again. Let's start fresh. So Kai will be able to do more things to Catherine that McLeod won't let him do. Sure. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was trying to say. Nice. Yeah, and it's like, it's thing. There's like, we all have this like these options in repertoire that can work against like lower levels of play. That like you probably against them against these people you should be going for them. You just have to have that mind today. It's not always going to work, and that yeah. you have to like, like if I, like classic example for me is um when I do that rubble, running double shine near the ledge. Um, that works on a lot of people and catches out a lot of people. There are some people sure. that will like just tech in on the first shine. And against those people, I oh, okay. okay. This this has been the lowest percent like game ever. Like, it's everyone's just dying at like 10. Oh, that's okay. it, yeah. We, have to, we start Yoshi's. That's I'm really curious like what the, like, the total percent's done now. <laughs> I think everyone just died like 10. Can we see? Can we see? Then I'm going to press A. Aww. No, no, I mean, they pressed A. They didn't scroll down. Damn. No. But yeah, it's like this, like more of a typical sort of matchup where like Kai wants like the big, like the big openings and the punishes, and Catherine wants like the the classics sort on of neutral wins. Mm. But she just won't get like the crazy like strings and like stuff that happens. Yeah, in the so. Catherine is definitely um, punish game isn't developed enough. I feel to like she, she just kind of wants to hit people. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, uh, like, like kind of what I do, but it's like better. So she is honorable Peach. She doesn't do these yeah. dishonorable edge guards or these combos. But no, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh no, well, yeah, that, that's not looking very honorable. This, this, that's this not whole, a very. This whole set already seems so much more like <laughs> normal. Like, or like, it's weird. Like it's like slower pace, but also like less of like less game plans or something. <laughs> they're just two gamers trying. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're just like. This is the real Peach Falco match. This is the, this is the real, the harsh real, the harsh you know. On these fancy, it's two people hitting each other. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> okay. Look. Damn, if I like Peach with Ledge Dash down smash, that'd be sick. <laughs> oh, would it be sick? <laughs> no, it, Peach, could, Peach with Ledge Dash options would be actually... Like... It, you know, it's, it's rough. You grab Ledge as Peach and you're like, what now? <laughs> like, going, like, switching... So, I mean, having played both Peach and Fox, um, getting used to, like, Fox Ledge Dash and then go, playing Peach is like, wait, what? What yeah. do I do? <laughs> With Fox getting to ledges the battle, once there, like, it's still a little bit of battle to get back to center, but it's like, with Peach, it's, it's an attrition. It's like, it's rough. Yeah, I think already Kai's doing more of the, like, the classic cool pressure stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then I think Catherine just has one more than neutral this game. Playing the SD. The hits, that yeah. also helps. That, that's like one big neutral win, right? Yeah. Like, that, that was basically, like, without the SD, they're very close at this point. Like, you take away that, because he died at like seven. Didn't yeah. he? Like seven, ten? This whole set, people just, they just getting out. It's like very early. Oh. Okay, what are we? Oh. That was good though. It, it that's was. Dice tech. I think that spot you want to like. Actually, I'm not sure what you I don't know if you can punish it. Like, it didn't seem like it. It was a really good tech. It made it a lot yeah, harder. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. You might have been able to like dare, like float dare, and after the first float dare, grab a turnip and then float dare again. It's still like a and read though, right? Is it though? Maybe. Because like, if the float dare covers the up B angle, and yeah, you maybe turn actually. On the second yeah. time, you, you start drop down here. Throw a Laser turn. forward smash, classic. Yeah, that was that was one of the things that definitely wasn't um working against McLeod. Yeah, that's like, that's like that's like yeah. yeah, th these sort of things are like what I was trying to say, like the laser forward smash and like the sort of classic shield pressure. Laser smash is definitely uh definitely works more often than Captain it probably should. Also, that was Cap put herself in a terrible position there, but. Yeah. She's okay. Okay. You just like just get like shine. Oh. Very nice. Okay. Good. Nice. Bad. All right. Well. We've got a set. There hasn't been a lot of free O's, you know. Um. At least in his top four. People are people are fine. Yeah, it's a good set. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll ignore the fact the SD helped a little bit, but you know what? May, may have been um, fod, but yeah, Kai's is confident. Kai. Maybe. All right. All right. Yeah, I, I'm sure Kai. If I'm, if I'm kind of spot, I'm like, well, you know, I see it was fun. It was a counter pick. Let's yeah. move on to mine. There's some things that you definitely should be, you know, taking note of. Being like, I need to fix this, but like, sometimes you just can't be too harsh on yourself. Can you control this game so far? He's, yeah, complete control. Um, that was guy from getting to. I think S smash would have worked there. <laughs> I think Lazy S smash playing with his food. Playing food. Oh, th those F tilts. Those F tilts were money. That was. I think this game, yeah, Kai really understands like when he can do things. It's working. Yeah, like weaving in and out and sort of like beating Catherine. Yeah, like Catherine. I mean, Catherine has got a decent, like, got a pretty solid sort of like game plan here. Like, like I mean, like, as in, like, sort of, like, more of the punish sort of stuff. It's getting, like, decent damage every time she Yeah, goes. it's like, well, Forcing it's a, her way in. Yep. Yeah. Okay, no. Like, up throws can do quite a bit. You just up throw to platform, and then, like, the side plats yeah. are really easy for tech chasing with Peach. They're yeah. low enough, and they're not, like, particularly long. So you can just put out an air, and it kind of covers it all. It'd be... Even if it's a read, like, you... Oh, no, well, we've got the homie stock. Yeah, team, team effort. Uh, team effort. Alright. That? Oh! That was cool! I like yeah, it. it was cool! I feel like probably down smash oh, would have was... been better though. Probably. Because like, but... if you grab there, what are you getting? You're getting, I guess, down throw if you're like, if you're recognizing oh, it. Oh, like, that's still a decent. That's a lot of, lot of damage. Because mm. if you're up throwing that spot right, you're, if they DI a platform, you might be able to get in there. If you're like, yeah. but yeah. I'm a fan of the down throw. Yeah, especially in that spot where like. Uh, uh, it was so nice because if you, if you down throw, it's a read. If you up throw and screw it up, and then you just look like a mistake. Yeah. It's kind, so of, it's kind of dumb, but you know. Oh. Okay, nice. that needs to. Yeah. That okay. was like the like. I don't know, like laziest thing ever, but it worked. Like, oh, yeah. Maybe not lazy the right word, but like nonchalant or something. I think it was back a bit, air, back air, back air. It was not. It definitely wouldn't have worked if Kai hit like a low slight B sweet spot. And that's the thing, Catherine doesn't really want to dip down too much with these bears. She just wants to put a bear at, like, exactly the ledge height yeah. and hope that it covers the side B. Which, as long as you're not too predictable, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, that's right. I think Catherine's <laughs> reasonably predictable with that bear. And the issue is, like, if you just probably 
if you fall back, dip, if you dip down just enough inside B, then like it beats it every time. Yeah. And it's obviously pretty easy to sort of like point out mistakes and stuff, but like it still is like yeah. Oh, no, no, pretty well, sure. yeah. Don't be wrong. Don't be wrong. Um, yeah. yeah. But I think like. Yeah, yeah. I don't I'm not trying to be too harsh yeah, on yeah. these people, but I don't want to seem too cynical. Right? Too cynical, but um, no, I think it's better to point out the mistakes than yeah. the like. <laughs> it's like some old um lead commentary where like everyone's just I guess in just in commentary when like the commentators are like trying to create a narrative that like everyone's doing so well when it's like reasonably you know when there's a lot of mistakes and look self you know self insight we're not perfect. But, I think it's um, easier in like team games to sort of have that sort of like narrative, but like in like a in like a one v one, I think when someone loses, like then I've never seen anyone say like both players like played well or like right. like or like yeah. every, every time they do, the other player. Oh my god! Oh my! Like, I'm at that. I'm, <laughs> I shouldn't be popping off with that, but I'm <laughs> actually. Catherine, look, she never goes out for that now. She oh, never man. ever goes out for that now. Oh my god! We're learning. It took years. <laughs> <laughs> took years. I know. I'm not gonna lie. As a I struggled going out for that. Nah, it was a solid two stocks. It took like in the punish. It took two generations of peaches, but we finally got one that could go out and punish that stupid goddamn up B. Because it's just like it's so easy to get scared of like getting hit by the side B. I think that's, that's the one thing I got, Cast, and I, I jump out of it. Yeah, you just got yeah. I think edge guarding is better than Cast, like by a fair bit. See, I would have double. I would have sing like like a short yeah. helped out there, then trying to read the double jump. Mm -hmm. But she's sort of like floating really early, which somehow is working, but... Mm. I mean, that was like a learning process for me. It's like, what I would always do is I would jump out oh, and no. float. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic. The guy's been hitting these off-road dares on all the pieces. Yeah, today. I don't understand. I don't like, get it. Every time, like, I, like, like um, Bailey does against me, he just, like, stares at me. He knows I shouldn't be hit <laughs> <by> <laughs> him. I'm just picturing him sitting, he's immediately looking at yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, uh, I love Bailey. That was cool. Messing out there, always fun. Yep, yep, yep. It's not quite as good as Luigi, but yeah, or Samus, but I think yeah, like, like when I started, I always like jump out and float, and, like read uh, like a height. Mm -hmm. Then like I, I just you just like everything I did against like, you, and you just kill me every single time. Like oh damn. Yeah. And then I started like yeah, like just like short hopping out there. Mm. And then if they double jump, they die. And if they don't, you can still read the the, the, the low stuff. So it gives you like a. I know, like, close to the 75 rather than, like, a straight up 50 50. So, what we saw there, so Kai ate Tornal Winner because he was trying to do it presumably too early, his ledge dash. Sure. He was, um, like, after grabbing ledge, you still have to wait, like, what, seven or eight frames before you do it exactly something. So, he was trying to act too quickly, and he, then he, like, went back, grabbed ledge, and just, like, I'm guessing he, um, tried to mash it out. Tried to air, no, he tried to air dodge, like, he air dodge too early, I guess. That'll be dropped down. He spent too many frames, like, dropping down before jumping. Point is. Right now he's um, looking a little bit iffy with these ledge dashes. Not quite, but the um, which is weird because like one game ago he was fine, right? Yeah, it's very easy to like. I mean, one set ago. Well, yeah, it's very easy to like. Oh, that shouldn't be it. We got an edge guard situation. Oh, that's a terrible spot to put yourself in. Yeah, she like definitely just gave the gave him the back end for free. Oh, that could have actually worked, but oh no, that's yeah. Stop. Well, so many up airs. That's thing. I think that. Oh, it's a set. Nice. Oh, it's yeah. A set. I didn't realize. I yeah, no, that was. Um, I think that was like. She didn't like actually get hit by the lasers. That was like, she got behind and she got hit by up, up air. Maybe she was like. Thing is, it's hard to jump out as Peach. You have to really air dodge. I don't know. I just feel like I could be completely wrong about this. I feel like you just pick a direction. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I could be wrong. I, I, ah, uh, not sure. I think like you probably could have gotten out air dodging at the very least, but you know you want to try and jump out. But and Peach double jump is terrible, so she's kind of like stays there for a few frames. True. She, she, she like dips down. It's maybe there's some weird percent where it works. Thing. Maybe look, we can either assume that Catherine messed up or that she was flawless in that respect, and that it was the game's fault. And yeah. quite frankly, as a Catherine fan, I'm willing to go for the. Well, ladder. Maybe Kai just beast mode. Maybe Kai, yeah. He acted out of grab too quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cheats? Yeah. No. Uh, all right. Oh, my ears are killing me. They're oh, like, no. Oh, no. You got the... Oh, you're no, yeah, looking It's because, like, the elastic from the, the, the mask is, like, what? pulling them a bit. And oh, they don't, yeah. don't fit in, like, the... In the, um... In the headphones. Look, um... So, like, my like, ears, like, folded, like, into the headphones. It's just... It's not a not a good time. Oh, not a good... Oh, cool. Well, um... Man, SA should crowdfund new, new headsets. Wow. Well, yeah. No? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, actually... Maybe, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> We're just like, Kyle was sick of these. We want comfy headsets. So I was about to say, there's probably like better things to do it on, but like, honestly... Because yeah. all like all of Kai's stuff is like, pretty well... Ready? Look, we, we could get better... We could get slightly better equipment for the viewers at home, or we could get better... But, I mean, we have... Yeah, we us we right have now. like, yeah, major is... tournament level production. Yeah, I'm very... I, I'm so... I'm always so happy with Kai's... You take, you take it for granted so hard. It is, like, no, it... Shout out to Kai. Shout out to Kai for all he does. He's like, he's taunts like taunts without Kai when we're not streaming. Definitely just feel. It's actually like, crazy how lucky we are. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well. Anyway. Does this already feel so much more like scrappy than the other set? <laughs> no, also, the thing is, Cap, um, McLeod's a lot faster than Cow, so and he yeah. It, it felt like it's a kind of weird where like the increase in speed kind of. Results in like a slower sort of game because you can just you're both are respecting your like like the options more or something. Mm. It um it also felt like a lot of, like in the Catherine set where oh that was I like, never would have done that. <laughs> in the Catherine set, it felt like I was just like Doing pull, thing, pulling or? and pushing. No, like pulling and pushing. Oh, oh. Boom. like he how sure you noob. <laughs> he had like reasonably strong control of the situation. He was like always like Catherine was moving and taking approaches, but yep. like he was doing it as a she was doing it as a result of like I like baiting these these bots, you know, sort of like thing. Like yeah. um there was a lot of bait and punishment Kai, like push the ball sort of thing. Whereas this it definitely feels like um Kai's not really getting a chance to do that. He's like my Kai's just kind of brute forcing his way through in a lot of you know, Yeah. Like kinda of owning it or something. Yeah. Is that an up toe down there again? Oh! Let him continue. Let him continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, cool. Hopefully, you know, one day we'll see them on show. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to like actually get the like. The thing is, like, it's. Hey, write that one. No. No contest. Damn it. Cloud try hard plugging in again. No, oh, he wants this, man. I think I, he probably, um, well, look, both these people want it. It's, they're playing, you know, for more pride more so than money. They both, like, <laughs> don't want to lose, you reckon? Yeah, I think so. I, I'm, I'm going to go out there on a limb and say, neither of these players want to lose the set. Are we going to see who wants to win it more? Who, who, which wants, one to, of these? who wants to lose it less? I <laughs> which one of these wants to lose? <laughs> which one of these gamers wants to... No. Although maybe the cloud like has the I want to win a tournament. Yeah, like well, that. Yeah, like well, obviously, yeah. Look, I remember like <laughs> there was like one tournament a while back where um Ruben won. It was um some it was an SA tournament. I didn't think Nick was there. I didn't think um I was there. But Ruben was still happy that he won it. This is like back in like 2018 or whatever. It's it, you know, it's nice to win. Nice to that win. was last year, wasn't it? Oh, like maybe. Ruben winning that tournament. Maybe actually, yeah, maybe it was. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I remember because yeah, look, he like, he mentioned like yeah, like a couple years ago he's actually never actually won or something. Yeah, it was funny. But like, it's not one of the things that's gonna like, man, this has completely changed my whole week. But it's, it's nice, you know. Funny is the wrong word. But yeah, look. <laughs> Where was that oh, side oh, going? That side. <laughs> I guess he was trying to do like a slight movement forward. It's like, cause actually, as Fox and Falco, if you're like holding, um, if you're doing shines and double shines and you're holding the uh, stick downwards and diagonally, you actually get a little bit of momentum when right. you're like multi shining, which can be like really useful for um, just keeping like shield pressure active and all that. Um, but if you do it too sharply forwards, then you lose side B out of it. Sure. <laughs> oh God. Because yeah, if you're just doing it like completely, if you're holding it completely down and you're multi shining, eventually yep. the shield, um, like the pushback will like will get them out of it. Yeah, right. This was much more like a classic sort of Taco Peach set. Mm. Like the boat sort of just like chucking in the neutral wins. They're, in, they're both um. I don't know. That's my thoughts anyway. Could be wrong. They're both hitting harder. Yeah, that's true. Oh, definitely. oh wait, I just, wait, 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 I just realized, White Peach? White Peach? What, yeah. what is this? He bitched it. What is this? Not doing it for his Daisy Peach sister in arms? Yeah. Get him. 
I just can't remember. Was he using Daisy Game One? <laughs> no, he wasn't. Cause I, yeah. I'm pretty sure I like thought about it, but you're like mid sentence. I just forgot. Like yeah. So I bring it up. Yeah. yeah. Ah, I don't think I've ever hit a non float counter with Fair in my life. <laughs> I think there's actually some spots where it's actually. Um, like below a platform or something? Well, no, it's useful as like a pull out. You do like a full hop fair. Right. And you pull out a, um, you know, a high jump or something. Yeah. And, um, it auto cancels off a full hop, so. Oh, yeah? It's not. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. No jump. Oh. Keep gonna be. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, he just SD'd. He definitely had that. I wonder um, if he assumed I was dead or if he just like fumbled it. I don't know. Oh, whatever the case. Um, it's one month. Yeah. I guess I should change it to Peach Wide. I remember like, yeah, like playing like friendlies against like people's like Peaches don't play Peach. They just like, because they don't flow right. They just do like short hop there and fair. Like, yeah. It just looks so fried. It's so, it was, uh, I remember, was it um, Wizzy? In that like one oh, reverse mains. That was so It was such a weird Peach to watch. It was still reasonably, it was like doing decently well, but it was just, it wasn't a Peach. Yeah. It was just, so like Axe has a peach, and like even Mango kind of has a peach. But then you watch like people who don't have peaches, and they're just like short hop, nearing and fairing. But it's yeah. weird, right? Because like, but the, if you're still a top player, you still know like you get these crazy down smashes because you just like have the like, really good movement and know when to use them. Yeah. It's like acting out of stuff as fast as possible is <laughs> it's a pretty big deal. It's, pretty big like deal. That, it's like oh. that weird thing where it's like like when you're a beginner. Dash attack, dance smash is OP, then like the flow catch stuff's OP, and then back to back to dance smash and dash attack. Back down, yeah. Just because like because you have the other stuff at your arsenal makes those much more like powerful. Yeah, if you have, especially like oh. if you have if you can like can condition them to not just shield. Yeah. And you can get them to respect your, you know, yeah, sure. grab or your shield pressure, then dash attack, you know, calling out jumps can be really useful. I don't know how you do shield pressure without floating, but that's true, yeah. It's um I guess grab. Grab, yeah. Dude, but how do you get the grab? That's the issue. You what what area are you landing with that's safe enough to... You keep dash attacking until they start shielding and you, <laughs> you just grab. The, the slow run up. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that can work. But it should, but it can. You just run across the entire stage and they're like, oh, you has got a dash attack. <laughs> if, the, if the person is convinced that you're dash attacking, then... Anyway. One thing we haven't touched on. Yeah, oh. it's gonna be it brought up a lot in the McLeod sets, but his um power show game is very, very good. Yep. Very good. Um, we saw previously I just came down for like reasonably predictable there and she got power show down smash. And you know, it sucks, you get hit, you go to you like you think you're gonna land this down, and suddenly you're going from like eleven or so percent to forty as the spacey and maybe a knockdown. I think if yeah, if once you're like comfortable enough doing your whole like Float, you know, sort of float shot stuff and I'll commit autopilot and you can sort of focus on like power shields and stuff. Mm. But for me, I feel like I always like react way too late to things. I'm still too busy trying to like think. Yeah. Um. Oh no. Oh. Oh. No contest. Okay. I think well. McLeod was safely in the lead that game, but still. Yeah. Oh, well, you know. Like, where are we going? I guess we're going stadium. They went Yoshi's this, this set, didn't they? Oh, no, I can't remember. I have, like, short-term memory loss or something. All right. Yep. yep. Stadium. Ready? Are we going to see game five? Oh, we got these. Yes. Yes? Okay. Well, Cloud's going to win game five. Two stocks up. Two stocks up. You know, we haven't seen a reset in a while. We haven't seen a reset in... We haven't seen a tournament in a while, right? Uh, well, not so much for the past few weeks, but, like, over the past few months, we've had a few. But um, doesn't mean any resets. It's mostly just been. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, we go stroking there. But um. No. 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 Um, makes sense. Makes sense. Actually, it really doesn't. That's me. That was many. I was very surprised. Last time I played Kai and Grands, I was expecting a um a reset because we always end up resetting. Yeah. Grands, yeah, yeah. You guys are super close. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, it was like. It was a good tech chase sort of thing, but like, it was like, it was just a little bit late, so I was able to get out the CC in time. You definitely can't A. Well, I'm pretty sure at that percent you can't A's guy down the dash tag. Damn. 
streams of um, game five. It's, it's slipping a little bit. Yeah. Oh no. Back air. <laughs> back. What? Huh? Why? Why didn't he just back air him? Yeah, I know. It's just that easy. No. Well, you know, to be fair. He went for a back and then he like went for a, some random air. I'm surprised I didn't shield poke, to be honest. Yeah. The yeah, Kai definitely just can't like get free shield pressure. Oh, that was the wrong way. Oh, we've been dead. Ah, mm. oh, good CC. Yeah. I, again, like, to me, that didn't seem like you would be able to grab that. But. Yeah, Peach, like, you know, turns out Peach can actually CC and not just down smash. Yeah. It's actually in, but you can. It's, uh, I know myself when people are actually getting a lot better at, like, utilizing CC grab, just in general. Um, a lot, <laughs> a lot more nairs are uh, unsafe nowadays. You can't just bomb in a nair. It's rough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like the, the whole like CC grab thing is just like a constant like commentator like sort of discussion to have. It's like, oh yeah, the new meta CC grab and exactly. CC this. Oh, all right. Good games. That was definitely had control of that one the last set. Quite, quite, quite a lot of control. Well done to McLeod. Yep. We Good do work. It. Good tournament. Good tournament. Yeah. Some like we had a lot of sets where Work. we had a lot of sets where um like they weren't like completely one sided but it definitely there were a lot of free ones definitely a lot of like games where it felt like the other the person that won was in control. Wait, what? Free tournament. Oh, it was a free. T wow, Apparently. all right. Damn. Scammed. Damn. Yeah, they were, do they were doing it for the love of the game. Respect. Once you're not here, it's now it's a learning zone, not, no, a, win, it's a, not learning a winning zone. zone. Learning zone? Oh. Yeah. I'm with Daisy. See, I'm doing what I do with all my other characters. Oh, McLeod saying he's done with Daisy? What the hell? Uh, oh, yeah. on yep. <laughs> Messing with the whole color thing is... is I, I don't know. Damn. Man, that was fun. It's cool, it's cool to actually talk about, like... Uh, the game and like the the, the the tech rather than like Samus. What does he do? <laughs> Ramen Samus. Oh, what's, what's the other classic? Like? <laughs> Samus. What does he? Do? Yeah. What does she do? She. Yeah. Oops. We're gonna we're gonna learn we're gonna learn today. You and me. Yeah. I'm just picturing you sitting there like. Oh God. Yeah. Sitting, sitting there in comms, just like, well, I don't know this character. Do you chat? If not, we're gonna have a learning experience. You and me. We're gonna get here. We're gonna. Figure this out together. I remember me and Johnny were commentating like Ruben <laughs> and Nick. I remember that set. And then yeah, Johnny was like, oh, so what is it? what's this matchup? I'm like, how the hell do I know? Mm -hmm. It's like, and it's like, we're like, I'm pretty sure you killed up till. And he just kills up till. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you knew. That was fun. You, no, it's good. It's, it's always more fun to like commentate so we have some semblance yeah. of idea of what the characters do. Um, I'll see if I'll see if McLeod cool. wants to do a little winners interview. With you, I hope. You want to do a little interview? Alright, Cool. See uh, you later. I was glad commentating with you. It was fun, yeah. Yep. Alright, have a good one. Well done, well done. It was yeah. um it was looking very I I was talking to Will about this, like a lot of sets felt like they that weren't completely one-sided, but it never felt like... They felt very, like, reasonably comfortable for the uh, person that won. Yeah. That, I don't know, that that was five times better than my first set with Kai. Yep, yep. I thought I was playing Dog in the first set. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I got I got inspiration from Jack, where he's like, Sam Sora does this thing where if he's losing, he's sort of, like, feeling like he's playing bad. He switches between Peach and Daisy. <laughs> so I did it, and I, yeah. like, instantly felt five times Five times better. <laughs> <back. laughs> I'm like, I was like, I'm going to... I, like, went into... I'm like, man, I was playing shit. And I went into... I, like, played, like, three games of White Peach versus Brad, and then I went into that game, and I'm like, I'm going to shit on Kai. <laughs> this set? Uh, this is a White Peach 3. <laughs> <laughs> and it should have been, but, oh, well. You know, it was the pressure. Two. You play Daisy. You got the pressure to be the best person. You yeah, the absolute <laughs> best. You got, you got, you know. Where's White Peach? White Peach. Oh, what good? One? I guess Mac D. Mac Damn. D. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Hey, it's Harden. It is. He was top twenty. He's yeah. Yeah. He uh he won an Australian tournament. Yeah. The, yeah he yeah, did, didn't he? He did. Yes. Wow. Uh, uh, beating Spud. What a legend. I think it was. It was yeah, I think it was beating Zoo. <laughs> oh no, no, he beat Zoo because Zoo, yeah. Zoo, Spud Zoo didn't get to him. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Unfortunate, but you know, um, I don't know. That was yeah. 
Look, you're doing it for the love of the game. Yeah. Love of the game. It doesn't, you know, I mean, let's be real. Let's be, <laughs> what was it? It was, um... My zero dollars? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, look, zero, <laughs> zero, 15. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, but 15, 15 is covers my KFC. 15, yeah, yeah. It's always <laughs> nice. When you, like, win a tournament, you just, like, sit back. You're like, it yeah. spends different. Now just, I'm, just, I'm just spending my money. I want a tournament. I'm just, this is the empty feeling. You're looking at all the people, all the gamers there, and you're like, you just look them in the eye. You're like, yeah, you're seeing yourself get, yeah, you're paying yep. for this. <laughs> you're paying yep. for this. And you'll yep. be paying for this next week. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, no, no. It's, that's um, No, it's always... um. Uh -uh. Today yeah. felt really good because I haven't, yeah, I haven't been able to play much. Mm -hmm. And today was, like, the first time... I was like, I played this game, and I'm like, man, it was a hard game. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just going to have to play a fucking shit ton of this game and try really hard and focus. And it's like, there's no... And I just, I was able to, I think I was really happy today because I was able to go, I was in the Kai set, I'm like, all right, what am I dropping? How do I fix it? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was able to implement a lot versus Brad, which was good and warming up. And then I, like, I hit, like, so many, so much, I was like, so much, so many of the dot points from my first set, I actually managed to fix by my second set. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, I was feeling like shit going into Sunday as well because Sunday's the top 16 thing. But now oh, I feel a lot yeah, yeah, now, yeah. which is good. I'm well, very happy this was on today because <laughs> I needed it. <laughs> I got baited by the top 16. I actually saw like, um, I got an email thing saying, oh, you've been invited to the top 16. Like, you know, from oh, the yeah. couch, right? It's when they're like randomly, like, I guess they were either like working out the, um, seeing stuff what they were doing initially by like Oh, they were doing locals. it with locals, yeah. And yeah. they just yeah. talked about it. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> I probably wasn't going to. I was like, yeah. I, you know, but, um, I'd uh, like yeah. to see you in it. That would be cool. Was they would um, look, Sora wasn't in it. There was all like I think Jack was in it actually as well. That one. Which Wait, Sora weird. wasn't in it and Jack. Wait, Jack what? Was yeah, Jack yeah. was in it. Yeah, yeah Jack yeah, was sixteenth or something. Sixteenth signs. Like Sora wasn't in it. It was um. So, so it was all lure. I wasn't getting my hopes. So I was like, yeah, yeah. this is gonna change very quickly. But um, no, it's uh, we still got a few SA people in that. We got yeah, you, we got Kai, Kai, myself and Kai. I think. Yeah, uh, Ruben qualified. Yes, Ruben I think. Yes, Ruben. Yeah, Ruben qualified. Well. I, think, I think um, Devin did as well. Uh, they, no, they, he no, didn't play okay. enough. Okay. He didn't play enough. Um, yeah, so I should, yeah, me, myself, Kai, and Ruben. Uh, yeah, that should be interesting. I think I can beat anyone but Sora, so we'll try. Okay, okay. We'll try. We'll try, yeah. We'll. Um, I'm excited to see the program. I'm excited to see how far you guys, you know, go. Yeah, I'll we'll give it a shot. Um, I'd yeah. love something more than see a uh, SA lose finals. <laughs> that would be sick. SA, yeah, I wanted yeah, that yeah. to yeah. happen, but Ruben dropped out of the tournament. I was like, yeah. aw. 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 Wait, this last one? No, it was oh, like yeah, one of the yeah, first yeah, ones where yeah, we had yeah, a party yeah. and yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. Well, it could have been SA winner finals. Yeah, I remember that. I yes, like, actually, now. Yeah. Damn. Damn. That was your first breakout one, right? Yeah, that was yeah, that was my breakout one. Yep, yep. That was fun. Um, I'm excited to play you next. Uh, <laughs> yeah, next I was I was so mad when that? they said yeah. you won this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And it was like hand sore. Like, I know, no, I know. I believe it. I was like, it was, um, no, yes, it was, it was. Sledgehammers. I heard sledgehammers were involved in Slay Mascot. I'm not sure if you've seen Between the Gates, the place, yep. but there's a ton of, like, furniture. So I just had to, like, um, and we got, like, a big skip. Like, oh, yep, 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 and you just had to break a bunch so of stuff. So just break a bunch, yeah, because we yep. can't just put it, like, as it is. Yep. We have to, like, actually, you know. It, would be, it was a lot of fun? Not really. It was very fun for the, in the, the beginning. The first half an hour? Then you start, yeah. And then, and then you're like, man, hour, I, like, I could have keep going. It's just, it's just work at that point. And you're like, you just got to get it done. Uh. It's like you have a limited amount of time, get it done, tear it apart. Um, I was a very silly person I didn't put sunscreen. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yep. uh, on so back of my neck was definitely um big definitely mistake, hit, but big mistake. Never again. Yeah, did that Hopefully. once. Never, never again. Yep, yep, never again. Um. Oh, you don't have a ticket? Oh, uh, uh, I saw that. I was like, well, I was like, hmm, damn, good shit, dude. That's the real winner of the tournament, Kai, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't need. Yeah, you just don't need a hundred and fifty dollar parking <laughs> ticket. <laughs> I'll tell you. That. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely been tournaments where, like, Kai's won. He's gotten, like, yeah, $20, gotten 20 bucks. with a parking ticket. And I'm like, wow, he's really just net, like... Really one. net minus 100. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn. That's such um, as the, such as SA Smash. The sacrifices, dude. The sacrifices. Look, 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 look. That mostly Kai makes, but we also make. <laughs> Point is, I'll definitely be there son, uh, son, next, next Sunday. Next Sunday? Oh, oh if, it should be good. I was so, I was so happy because it finally aligned. Because you know how, like, every tournament, SA tournament for, like, last three months, I'm like, I have something specifically on that day mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. I don't on the next week. It finally aligned where I had something on next Friday, but I didn't on this Friday. So I, we actually, and I have something this Sunday as well, and I don't next Sunday. It so the, the stars fucking aligned. It should be a really good tournament. Last one nah. to cap off. You, me, Kai. Hopefully Davin um, and, Davin, uh, Davin and Ruben show that should, up too. That should be that a should be very, sick. very fun top um, five, top six. Yeah, no, I'm I'm excited too. Maybe we get Ho Nick to show Hopefully up Catherine maybe. grinds a little bit more. Catherine grinds a little bit more. She was, was looking alright. Yeah. Like what time? Uh, so I'll I may might be doing something towards the evening, but I'm pretty free during the day, I think. Okay, 
Okay. So yeah, I'm kind of like guns. So near the yeah, old, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my yep. Yeah, sure. If you want to, yeah, play some games or something. Yeah, no, that'd be sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go for it. Yeah, damn right. Got some in real life melee. So yeah, I know. It's been a while, it's, dude. It's been, it's, it's. No, I'm yeah, I'm keen. Yeah, yeah. All right. I guess probably wrap up. Yeah, probably wrap that up. That was fun. Um, thank you to everyone that thank watched. You Kai, thank, thank you, Kai. Thank you, everyone watching. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right, great. Yeah, let's go for guys. Yep. Oh. Cheers, Kai. Thanks, guys. Once again, everyone, thanks for watching. Um, that's another evac in the books, baby. Uh, my name is Kaiser, doing all this stream business, bringing it in for these tournaments. And um, the VODs for this will be on the SA Smash YouTube, as always. Check out the socials for when they go up. Check out their YouTube, SA Smash TV. Um, those VODs will probably be up within the week. We'll have the full broadcast up first, and then we'll split the VODs later. Um, Till then, guys, uh, follow me on Twitter. It's in the chat there for you. And before I am done, I'm going to quickly host off somebody. Hopefully somebody streaming some Melee. I'm not out here about to like host someone who is playing <laughs> Cyberpunk. You know, I'm going to come in and I'm going to host Trey the Trash Man. And then that's going to be it, everyone. Love you so much, everyone. Till next time, peace.